Trashy Cash Podcast, episode 102. How's it going? I wanted going? to talk to you off the record. With me, me as always. <laughs> it's all on the record, dude. Also known as C.M. Williams Esquire. And down to, at the bottom where he belongs is Commonwealthy Pictures. To be, to be honest, news. I don't know what Esquire means, but it sounds good. Kevin's got some news. Share it on the show. No, Let's it. Hear it. Not, I didn't want to share it on the show. <laughs> you have to see it. Reseller rally, baby. September 3rd. Reseller rally. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Kevin, you're celebrating my birthday this week. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that you decorate just for that. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Happy birthday, Dave. Thank you. It's tomorrow yeah. for the audience. Tomorrow for the audience. Kevin is decorated in celebration of it. So we get to have so the Kevin. couple months that we are the same age, and then I will go yes. into the next then decade you will be by myself. a disgusting 40-year-old, which <laughs> is just deplorable. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what it's Too like. Great. What's it like, Kevin? Is it depressing? Is what depressing? Being, Being in your 40s? Who said I was in my 40s? 50s. Oh, yeah. What was it? Past tense, back in the day. Was it depressing back when <laughs> no, you were I'm in your kidding. 40s? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not depressing. I'm playing. Mm, no. It's, it's, I feel, I mean, I don't know. I think most people don't ever feel their age. Well, yeah. I don't know about ever. But yeah. What's my age it's, again, right? It's up here. Yeah. I still feel, yeah. uh, what, did I tell you that I saw some, like, uh, short form content, so it must be true yeah. that, uh, <laughs> that, like, Oh, what what was it? It was uh, now I can't remember. It was something crazy. Like if you have ADHD, your mental age is like eight years younger than your real age or something. I'd have to find it and share it with yeah, you. But I was yeah. like, Tina's well, like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, makes sense for no you, Dave. So, it. all right. So it. Kevin's got news he can't share. It's probably about his um, enlargement surgery. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> about the dysfunction in the yeah, erectile like area. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we're just and, we've been working on a project for a while. Me and Mike, yeah. Death Pile Picker, and it's Kevin's got some roll. big news coming. Big guys. news. Well, I mean, it's going to be disappointing, bigger, but for him, it's big news. Yes, <laughs> slightly so, less disappointing. This is a reselling podcast, <laughs> as you can tell right off the jump. I'm wearing a dead man's pants right now, and I feel weird. <laughs> I feel weird about it. I got these. <laughs> That sounds like a great. like a great '80s like, song, "Dead Man's Pants." Or I guess I never really Bananarama about, or something. I never really thought about the fact, that, like, I mean, you think about it when you go to an estate sale, right? Like, mm-hmm. someone died, right, and all this Sometimes stuff. Sometimes they'll buying. tell you at a garage sale. They'll yeah. tell you. At yeah. The garage oh yeah, my husband. Yeah, I was that one this weekend. Mm-hmm. It was like my husband passed, and this yeah. is all his stuff, and it was like. Mm-hmm. It, I guess it's just hitting me yeah. different. And yet you guys are still. Pants. Yet you guys still offer less money. I mean that's yeah. that's oh, really despicable. I got a story about honestly. that. Honestly, I got yeah. uh, this was a. Well, you finish your story. No, go. I want to hear. He's so, wearing dead man's pants. That's the whole I, story. That, that was it. I took an old video that I did and made a short of it and put it on TikTok. And it was uh, this lady said, "Hey, his this this guy's son died. He had a shop in the mall, and he's just trying to get rid of his stuff. And it was a box full of old, real Virginia Tech jerseys, like from the players in the schools." And I didn't ah, have any idea. Your how collar, Kev, your work. collar. It's killing me. My co- oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's so, rubbing the mic. No, well, hey, there you go. So they had all this stuff, and I just, and they're like five bucks or three bucks a piece, and there's a ton of them in there. I'm like, how about 50 bucks? Was that and, an In and Out shirt you're wearing? Is that yeah, In and Out? Yeah, oh, I knew it. I knew that symbol. I worked <laughs> there. That, I, was yeah. I was fired. I was fired. Does it trigger you, Carrie? It does a little, <laughs> does bit. A little <laughs> bit. It does a little bit. And at any rate, I bought it and then I showed the comps and they're like sixty, eighty dollars a piece. I yeah. mean this box was worth five, six, eight hundred dollars. And oh, I haven't had a TikTok that I got shredded on that like in like that in a long time. <laughs> long time. Matter of fact, last time it happened, it was almost a year ago. And you guys remember, I told you I took it down. It was so yes. bad. Yeah, you were. I took it down, it. and Dave's like, "You are so dumb." Yeah, it would have. I was getting up. like hundreds of people. I only coming in. <laughs> it's been a like I yeah. It's hard for me to take one down. Like people are just. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. They they dislike you as resellers yeah. on TikTok. Yeah, so. you know, and they don't get is you know that stuff would have ended up more than likely at the Goodwill or somebody else would have bought it for the same price I did. What I, mean, I asked. I what era what was it? Was it too, was it like the Vix era or was it like the 80s? It's or? funny because ATL Flippers saw the video and he's like, I know one of those guys, the jerseys. Oh, wow. And um, I'd already sold the jersey. I, I would have given it to him, but I already sold the jersey. So anyway, but yeah, maybe late 90s, early 2000s. Something like oh, that. That's cool, man. Jeez. Maybe a little later, mid 2000s, maybe. Well, so <laughs> I... D- 
I, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> surprise. Someone text surprise. Me. <laughs> no, what were we ADHD. Talking about? Oh, yeah. No, ADHD. oh, yeah. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, do you ever respond or do you just let it fly? Oh, you know me, Dave. What do you think yeah. the answer is? I think you you respond. I don't yeah, know. I, yeah, I do. I'm passive aggressive Instagram story, story, maybe. Have you not watch my videos lately. lately? I yeah, haven't. They're just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try to stay I away from them. Respond. They're so terrible. No, thank you. Thank no, you. I'm just kidding. They're good. I watched. You. you got me. You clickbaited me into that one where it was which like, one? The eBay. Um, gosh, rumors. I've already forgotten. Rumors. That's how memorable it was. eBay, eBay rumors. No, yeah. Rumors. yeah. Suspicions. Oh yeah, the eBay like rumors. That. Was that the good one where he thought it was all about him, but we yeah. don't even know if it was. No one ever well, said his name. I said but it Kevin again. Kevin is sure of it. There's only been two, and it was plural. So. Okay, some backstory here, go. guys. Uh, some news story dropped about eBay heard reaching about out this. to resellers, Thanks. and basically Kevin thinks it's about him. When we all know it's about Rockstar <sighs> Flipper, the only Rockstar. Yeah. I'll tell in you the, the feedback industry. I've got that uh, that I'll, I'll own is that I should have done this video about the conversation earlier, which I should have, but I didn't want to. I just didn't want to for two reasons, but one of them was that I was going to reseller rally. You wanted to monetize it. You wanted to monetize your response mm -hmm. is what mm -hmm. you wanted, right? Am I well, correct? Oh, shut up, dude. Of course, every <laughs> video on YouTube is monetized. Of course. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, I got quite a few complaints. I got quite a few complaints about clickbait. And so I've been trying to lay off the clickbait a little bit. And I actually, uh, and I, saw one, person, I saw one person. Nobody watches. <laughs> I saw one person who said, yeah, I'll never watch the clickbait resellers. I only watch real resellers, which was a funny comment because... <laughs> At the end of the day, like anyone who's making video content wants their content to be watched. Mm -hmm. And when I stopped making clickbait content, guess what? Carrie and Kevin already predicted it. Yeah. I got Nobody way less cares. views. Yeah. Way, way less that views. Is... Like, I made a really Look, dumb thumbnail. Seriously, where I even if, called Kevin and Carrie and I said, guys, if this you could get flop. views. No, seriously, this is, I mean, every, I think every reseller or every YouTuber would do this. If you could get the same amount of views or consistently grow over time without doing clickbait, I think all of us would not yeah, do Yeah, we clickbait. wouldn't do the clickbait. But, but I do this don't get excellent the thumbnail where I'm playing a saxophone and no one clicks yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, I don't care about your saxophone. Your but sexy phone is what I would I, call it. I don't get a ton of complaints. I know you tease, but I don't get a ton of complaints about clickbait. I occasionally do on Commonwealth Picker and once a blue moon on Commonwealth Flipper. If, if is that because you most of your do, audience don't like they, they don't know how to use the keyboard because they don't they know, know how, how to use the, the keyboard, keyboard yet like, because it's new technology? Or? How do I type into this <laughs> thing? And they just like smack <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it is Nothing's like happening. Kevin gets a lot of nonsensical just strands of letters <laughs> on his comments. Like, but there's you know, like when they're doing it. the voice message or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. If you could do one that's clever, that actually does fit the video, just fits it in a slightly different way than oh, people man. imagined it did. They could you imagine so if you if could you do clever clickbait, lie? Kevin? That would be amazing. If you started oh doing clever clickbait, gosh. it would be awesome. I'd, I'd watch. Well, Kevin, I, I tried to do that, and Harold Tornado called me out and said, Dave, you never talked about what your video title was. My video title was, Was This a Fake eBay Sale? Or a Fake Sale, just Fake Sale. And at the very end of the video, I talked about how I sold something on Mercari and said, Oh, never mind, I already sold that to someone else. <laughs> that was the fake sale, oh, but God. like everyone is expecting something much more fake than that. You so, know what I did yeah. one time? I did a you know holy grail, or I found a grail at a yard sale or something, and it was I put it at the very end of the video, which I normally don't do. I put it two thirds, maybe yeah. half, somewhere like that. But I put it at the very, very end, and the rest of the sales were pretty good. And people, are, you know, oh, there's no grail, there's no grail. What's the grail? What's the grail? And it's something I've talked about forever. Which the grill was this thing. life lesson you just weren't learned. <laughs> yeah. Don't watch my videos. <laughs> it was the, yes. lemonade, the lemonade. <laughs> That's what somebody stand. said on my video today, like or yesterday. I think it was yesterday's comment where I did the video game uh, video that I did, and they're like, "Everybody's doing video game content now, and they're shaking, and it's lame and boring." I'm like, "If it's boring, man, don't watch don't it. Watch it. Yeah. Man, I don't, don't watch it. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, I got that comment today. I hate to this kind of video. My story. It's the end of the video. It was a two hundred fifty dollar bobblehead that I bought for a dollar from the nineteen seventy sports specialties, and I've been looking for those old school bobbleheads for years. So that was my grail. And apparently, it wasn't grail enough. That wasn't grail didn't enough. Get yeah, I mean, for me, it. it's a grail if it's like a $10 item. By the way, I had a video idea. <laughs> <laughs> I had a video idea, and you know what? I'll probably do it. Let's see. It'll probably come out maybe Wednesday because I don't have any sales, and I thought this would be kind of fun. <laughs> you have no um, sales? I have no. Well, I just shipped them all Sunday, but then I'm going oh, okay. out of town Tuesday, and I want to record my Wednesday episode Did tomorrow. you not film the video that you shipped them in? I did, but that's for tomorrow. 
I need oh, a video okay. for Wednesday, I'm okay. saying. See, now that was my point in not yeah. releasing yeah. this video. It's hard. Because it, we're traveling. Because we're traveling. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be hard. hard. But, but I had this idea, and I don't know. Someone's probably already done it. But I thought it'd be cool to, like, go through and say my top 10 eBay sales of 2023 on my Flipper channel. And literally mm -hmm. just, like, sort from <laughs> largest <laughs> sale. So disappointing. Yeah, sale, like, the smallest sale, and just be like, but number, no. But then <laughs> number if two at forty two dollars. Oh, it is. It's going to be super disappointing in that <laughs> no, fashion. But, you had good. But don't you think dude. that would be? And and if I really wanted to go crazy, if I end up having time, I could actually put in where I found each item too, like the buy oh, yeah. and the sale no, and me pulling the lot, order. That'd be a lot of work. Dude, lot. But that I don't would think be you would cool get any real. Bit. It would be. I mean, artistically, it would be cool. But is it? You're not going to get extra views for that extra work. No. It'd and right now, you need. Be proud you of. need more time to focus on uh, going to <laughs> parks and not working. <laughs> All right. You made twenty dollars on a video. You need to invest more time in it. Hey, you know what? At least I made some money at a theme that's park awesome, as opposed dude. to that's just awesome, losing money though. at theme parks like and I normally. I'm joking. That's actually really cool, made. honestly. Yeah. It's mm, the start of all something. Right off money. All that yeah. those meals that they were written off. All of it. Yeah, You're writing it off. Exactly. He, he oh, got well, extra actually, fried. I just fried, found out, guys. Extra fried just, butter sticks because of that. Through the power of TikTok, I just found out that this whole like extended weekend, they're doing a Universal Studios garage sale at Universal Studios, which I didn't know about. Tomorrow's the last day. Ooh, but I'm gonna wow. get my butt oh, up that at would 6 be so cool, dude. And I'm gonna drive there to the Universal Garage Sale, and I'm gonna dude, get make a little vlog dude. about it. I was watching on TikTok yesterday. I don't know if they do this at the Universal Scary Town Parade or whatever the Halloween heck it's Horror called. Nights, yeah. yeah, that one. <laughs> they have one at Knott's Berry Farm. It's called yes. Scary something. And there's like Not dudes scary. like Kevin's, running at Kevin running Preston down Berries. like yeah. There's dudes Kevin's age, but they've all passed on for obvious reasons. They okay. were old, they're dead but dead. like, <laughs> and they're like they have knee pads on, and they're like skidding down the road, and there's like flames, and it's like whoa, Ooh. man. This is yeah. back when I was a kid. You just had a. <laughs> By the way, they had Knott's Scary Farm when I was a kid. We used to go. It's been fifty far. years. Yeah, my mom worked years. at Knott's Berry Farm. She worked. I don't know. I think nice. she sold stuff. My mom was in the band. Time. She was the singer mm, for the Knott's yeah. Berry Farm. Do you band. remember the donkey rides at Mall? At, uh, at yeah, that's good. Fried chicken. That's good stuff. <laughs> that might have been a back room thing. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> there were actual dad donk. Well, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Let's continue down this. <laughs> Let's let's hear more about the donkeys. See, the one of my best sales of all time. Well, I don't know if it was the best. It was a good one. It was eight hundred dollars. Was a was a badge from the Disneyland Hotel that my mom got for the chief of police, and she gave it to me. But we, no, uh, I think Kevin Kevin's right. My video or Carrie's right. My video would be like a few really stellar sales, and I'd be like by number nine, I'd probably be down to like for one hundred and eighty dollars, and that'd be like. <laughs> That's a good video. I'm, that's a cool video. It sounds like I a fun idea. He right? almost, yeah. he almost said he'd watch me, right? it, but then he stopped because it would have been a lie. <laughs> Kevin, he's not, not going to watch that, it, but, but I would you'll probably, about it. You'll probably steal it at the end of the No, year, Ray's already done it. it. Nashville mm -hmm. Flipper, it'll be out oh, on Wednesday. Craigslist Hunter did those videos forever. Did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just okay. sitting there with the video stuff coming up. And he did top 10. Is he is he still buying stuff off Craigslist? Or is it just a lie at this point? <laughs> I, well, I don't know about a lie. No, that actually, it was nothing to do with him buying stuff off Craigslist. Yes, he was, was actually the Craigslist killer. <laughs> and he changed it because he kept <laughs> getting You were going to meet him this weekend. Be very <laughs> careful. Seriously. seriously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's All right, brutal. Fine. We won't it's, talk you about You are going to meet him. You know yeah. where I made, met Pete for the first time? In the bathroom. Where? Okay. He was in the stall right next to me. We were talking. That's good. I am not. You're both doing like you both doing poopies at the same <laughs> no, time. He's just standing up, not the stall. Whatever. Oh. Yeah, well, hey, and you know what, Carrie? Tomorrow I'm also going to stream while I'm at Universal because hey, I'm there. Yeah, they were the streaming. Bathroom. That's how they met. Really? <laughs> yeah, they were both the, streaming. Kevin and Kevin and Pete. They were doing the <laughs> Kevin cross and Pete. By the way, I'm <laughs> meeting this action. weekend, Carrie. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you should take a little time off of this stuff here and maybe come up with a better thumbnail and title. That is the worst thumbnail and Did title. Did you see Pro Flipper's latest podcast. video? No. Pro Flipper just said, I sold 29 items and there was nothing on the thumbnail. I well, love it. What do you it. mean? That's like, that takes no, that was, if we could get to the point Flipper where we can just he only sold take a picture of ourselves and say what's in the video, like, here I found nothing you know and that's the video <laughs> <laughs> and then i could just get views that'd be awesome that'd be dope yeah, man yep yeah, yeah. i mean Dustin. great dude 
I try. Ooh. Listen, I I still get some number of views when I don't clickbait. But I'm talking about the trash to cast thumbnail and title was pathetic. I love that. I love that thumbnail. Be- was that awesome? Was, I like how all our bodies, all our bodies were accurate too. Yeah. There was <laughs> title. There was <laughs> Jabba the Kevin. I loved that one <laughs> on top of the pile of plushes. I loved it. it that made terrible. me happy, man. I shared it, and like I had to be like, "Why am I sharing this?" Kevin, why am I sharing? Kevin, it's like Carrie's got me handcuffed. And Chat I'm like GPT. Hey, oh, <laughs> question: uh, Did anyone like the Chat GPT section? As someone who doesn't look at the comments, I'm just curious. People liked I last week's liked video. Yeah. Nobody clicked right, on so it. So we should do. Nobody title. watched it, but we the should do who more Chat like GPT it. stuff at the end of I this liked episode. It. Yeah. yeah. Cause my American end. Arbitrage cards is a robot now Let's because you made my picture. Did you like that? I loved it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ooh, and man. they also liked me in the middle. Just saying. Kevin, did you see the picture I chat GPT mid journeyed of you as Chris Hemsworth with a shirt off? Uh, yeah, my wife. Your wife that. didn't. She was what not she interested. Th- she was not into it. She didn't like it. <laughs> not she into like, it. I like my men scrawny <laughs> and saggy. <laughs> Withery. He's far and too just... toit. Too many. And he only has two nipples. <laughs> Weird rolls. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Why didn't she like it? That was weird. I, I thought no, it was I a good know. picture. I put Probably it on the Discord, cause... guys. If you want to see Kevin and Carrie both as Chris, Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> join our Patreon. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're That'll get him in. That's the last that bit of people it. who didn't want to join. Yeah. They're they're coming. I met someone at a garage sale this weekend, and he's like, hey, it's my third favorite trasher. I was slightly offended. <laughs> and uh, he's like, can I get a picture? But he still, he like loved trash. <laughs> that, that's enough. a very, you shouldn't be offended. Yeah. That's no, a no, no, no. That, that was That is. That is. That is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably who, is, and, who is your favorite, guys? Right down below. I think they've done <laughs> yeah. that before. Let us and know who God. your favorite is, and don't hold back. Just but he's like, honest. hey, now that I met you, maybe I'll finally to get you, I'll finally join that wealthy as a Kevin Patreon thing, which you want me to join so bad. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, no, we're <laughs> down for that. That that helps us. Yes. A, a lot. Not yeah. so much you. Yeah. In the Trash Cash Facebook group, did you see somebody posted uh, a, a, a comp? Well, when I sold comp, but it was somebody who'd listed uh, one of my cards. They were trying mm-hmm. to sell for $20. Yes, for $20. What do you mean one people, of your cards? My business. Dude, I signed did you not see that? In every order. Did you not see that one foot flipper just did a video on that? About like what kind of reseller would sell that or whatever. Oh, he yeah. he wants well, to get those it's Kevin views because you could buy an ET pin for me from like five bucks and I'll send you one in the package because I send it Dude, out. Dude, I will. Package. I will but attest. I, I can't tell you how many autographs of Kevin's it. I've thrown away. Man, Stop it! Many, many, I don't many. need any more. <laughs> you name a reseller, I'll tell you about their autograph I threw away. <laughs> well, I've done the same. Yeah. I've done the same. Kins, Kins. I've thrown well, away so Kins. many of Kins' headshots. It's ridiculous. No, those are next to my bed. Dartboard. Those don't get thrown those away. Are, Jimmy those was are, very upset that I those thought are so highly of Ken. Uh, Don, did you tell me Don kept those? Have you been watching said, the I reseller clickbait podcast? All the ladies liked Kins uh, eight by ten with Grams and Pops. Them. Well, just I watched Pops the one. Vintage. Where's Graham? Man, I can never remember this podcast. Flip the reseller this. into the locker. In it, in it to flip it. Oh, the re. Oh, is? the reseller locker smack no, talk. No, 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 no. The one that that Jimmy and Mike fantastic. have now been on twice. Oh, I was on a. I was on. I was on. I took Ben's place on the flipping pickers show. Did you see that? Wow, you're a sellout, bro. You're dude, I was. Dude, Just get off the show. And I was respectful. I didn't even bring up. I didn't bring up the Rocky Top uh, drama. Slim Flippers. Wow. Slim Flippers. Okay. Slim there you go. Flippers. Shout out Slim Flippers podcast. You well, I just wanted you to check it. out. Mike, let me, Mike let me was funny. My thought. Jimmy was funny. Mike, there's one too many podcasts, funny. guys, and it's ours. That's, yes. That's, we're that's closing it down because there's Shut all these down. other ones that take We've made place. it to 100. We're done. Retire. Uh, well, no, all I want to say is uh, Jimmy, Ken, can you please let Pops talk just a little? I mean, he's probably the best part of the show, and he never gets a word in. Yeah. It's just literally Ken and Jimmy all the time again. Just talk- <laughs> it's really just Ken talking yeah. for three hours. Every now and then, Jimmy drops like a little a little yeah. joke or something, hey, and then yeah. Graham's or Pops at the end is like, "Was this an episode?" Hey, you know what it feels like? It feels like Pops loves the show and he's, he's just watching live he's like he's not actually getting, in the show he's just <laughs> spectating he's used to getting run over by grams so yeah yeah, yeah well, she, well i don't know why they picked pops over grams in the first place let's that's start there yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he also yeah, anyways we're not gonna talk too much about them we did get a question from josh over in the uh the disc uh, the patreon he said is mm-hmm. dave spreading himself too thin which mm. Josh is this? This is Harold Tornado. Oh, dude, no, not I was at all. Read his you don't. You like to be busy, man. Tornado. You're probably you need to do more. You're probably wasting too much. His time. whatnot had 800 people in it tonight. Y'all. That's sick. Was it free? Was it a free people. show? No, it was the Disney one that he did. 
Oh, yeah. oh dude, that's because he got it. he called oh, me no, when he was driving exploded. home with that, and he got some awesome. Oh, you deals. get a phone call. Yeah. I see how it is. I, see I get a heart on an Instagram <laughs> message. I get a heart, and then uh, Did you say you get a heart on. <laughs> Jesus, yes. it's, just, it's yes. exactly what I said. Good a heart, Lord, a heart with a T, guys. Right now, hey. Okay, hey, so don't leave I, us. Don't leave Carrie, us, Carrie. Supposedly, and I don't know if it'll come to fruition, but at this Universal Garage Sale, they're going to have lounge flies. So it could be cool. I Is don't know. It we'll tomorrow, see. you said. Yes, I really. Tomorrow, I'm getting up dude, at six. Send me like send me pictures yeah. and stuff. I won't, of course, see I'm them. I'm going to make a like, like noon, eight minute vlog. You can just watch the video. Ah, but I I'm your friend. You should. The hair tornado calls you. Just yeah, let me know what happened. True. Okay, I'll tell you. Gosh. I'll tell you. I don't think I'm spreading myself too. What the, I think, what oh, happened? What the heck? What that is? Just got that so is off putting. More beautiful. He just got. Below. He's got AI. <laughs> that, that's the weirdest AI. <laughs> if you, <laughs> I, I love that he didn't say a word and just left. What is? Wait, Guys, is he really you gotta there? go watch the video. You gotta go watch the video. You're just <laughs> no. Don't say anything else, Carrie. Don't say anything else. You gotta come watch the video. <laughs> we'll if watch the see video, that. guys. But that a great was... thing just happened in the lower third. That was off putting. That was <laughs> oh man, that was strange. Okay, so anyways, so we've decided I'm not spreading myself too thin. But there is definitely part of me when I'm sitting there today editing a four hour roller roller coaster video that's gonna get 200 views. That's like, why am I doing this? Why? Dave, but you're doing anyways. it because why, why did you do the cooking channel? And now you're one of the hottest cooking content creators in the world. Hottest? Like yeah. hottest? No, I mean, like I'm talking about hot. like, like physically hot. I've like, I mean, that. like because he's so close to the flames. Yeah. I've done the twice I've done now hot sellers on eBay and I put my wife in the thumbnail. Mm. I've done it twice. And both You times want some I've real controversy? Well. Put someone else's wife in the thumbnail. <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> Might as well try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it won't cause any marital issues. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you know, you're already so, swinging. You might as well. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I tell you what, I'm tired. I did go to the rodeo, and then we spent the night I'm down sad there. And then because we went, what? I love rodeos, and there's a rodeo this weekend. I got to go to the stupid reseller rally crap. Oh, jeez. Very disappointed. Okay. Well, we don't I'd much rather to. go to the rodeo, guys. We don't We'd want to. to you don't want to go hang out with me, Dave? Come on. Can you at least try to wrangle a bull <laughs> on the boat? <laughs> I'm gonna release a bull on the boat, and Carrie, you gotta wrangle it. Is this another swinger thing? Or? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think you okay. gotta grab the bull by the horns. That's, that's good. That's I've never been to a PBR rodeo. Right? It was fun. Yeah, I it was fun. Yeah. What's much. PBR stand for? Professional peanut butter and jelly, right? Bull. Peanut butter Riders? rally time. Peanut butter rally time. PBR. I've sold PBR hey. sports cards before. They're actually so popular. I'm Wasn't there a band rodeo. named PBR? Yeah, they sing with arms wide open. That one. That's Creed. <laughs> yeah. It is there also was, Creed. At hmm. the rodeo, they have all the, you know, I'm learning my brands to COVID and, you know, all the brands that you got to look out for to buy and resell because everybody's advertising there. And eBay Motors. Uh, why is it that eBay doesn't advertise hardly ever, but eBay Motors advertises all the time? Everywhere. Because when they get a sale, it's 20 grand. When eBay gets yeah. sale, it's a $4 DVD from the <laughs> NC Most of the time I hear about it. <laughs> I hear it's about true. Ads. It's because there's a lot more. They're on the line parts, for an eBay motor sale. Is eBay Motors even like the people who buy like cars and stuff on eBay Motors? Because I've yeah. never heard of anybody and doing car that. parts. I think so, are yeah, huge, I think so. huge car Especially parts. Now, I get, I mean, but like an actual physical car, I only buy my car from vending I machines off the side of the freeway. I bought a Toyota 4Runner like 20 years ago, and and I bought it off of eBay, and I went. Oh, you're one of those guys. You're one of those guys. You probably also like chewed tobacco. Matter of fact, and you had sunglasses. You the listen, biggest loud music. The biggest car seller on the East Coast is actually located just a f not like maybe 10, 15 miles away from here. And it's out in the backwoods in the middle of nowhere. And they sell more cars uh, than anybody else. And they sell them on eBay. Yeah. Yep. And they're, they're, they're like, salvaged. they're good at it. They, uh, okay. they, some of them run, some of them don't run. You just buy them as is and they're super cheap and they just, they just churn it like crazy. Oh, so here's a little spoiler for my flipper video tomorrow. Actually, it's already nobody's, out. Nobody's but there's the it. I got the new iPhone. Okay, I got the new iPhone, and nice. the coolest Surprise. thing about the new iPhone is it's got an action button, which you can program to whatever. And so this weekend, I would just hold my little action button here, and boom, the eBay app opens. So you now have a button that just opens up eBay and brings you into eBay whenever you want. Why can't you just boom. use the eBay button? EBay what? app. Button. It's 1984. What, you have to go what have find I been telling the icon you? It's 1984. It. Everything. They're watching us, guys. They're watching us. So you. Okay. You have to explain it to me. I'm, I'm a little... 
Yeah. Do you understand it, Carrie? Basically, you don't yeah, have to find it. the icon in your apps. Well, how do you find it? So you're how booting you up the computer. You okay, don't. You don't find it all. You just hold this button on the side of the phone, oh, and it opens I eBay. See. Yeah. It's oh, a shortcut like to open it's eBay. It's like when you have the abacus one. out. When you have the abacus yes. out, and you move one of yeah. the balls to the <laughs> other side. And that, it that can only be one thing. More, the number I love higher. this picture. Look at this picture that's like highlighted. Oh, can you see it? You see Elmo there laying like super <laughs> sexy. <laughs> <I know. laughs> those sexily. are always funny. I think I got rid of that because it was always just like a random. <laughs> All my pictures are like just eBay <laughs> pictures. So I'm like. <laughs> Oh, gosh. That was another Discord thing, guys. Uh, we were just trying to make good pictures for the eBay listings, and Elmo ended up in a seductive position. But anyways, Kevin, it was cool Saturday being at yard sales and just pulling out my phone, holding that button, and being in eBay. It yeah. just made comping just slightly faster. It's a small mm -hmm. thing, but it's a cool thing. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm sure Samsung phones had it 10 years ago, but, you know, I'm living <laughs> in the iPhone world. so Exactly. The Nokia's had it. Yeah, the yeah. Nokia's had it back in the day. You know, Apple does not jump quickly. With they got this fancy thing called hey, USB-C. Hey, they got US. Yeah, they got USB-C yeah, now. Yeah. It's they actually really arrived. nice that I can just plug it into everything else that's in my house. Don't worry, now. don't worry. As soon as you get comfortable, they'll change it again. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. But you know what's you, cool is you can actually ports. plug a USB-C into like your phone from mine, and you can charge Carrie's phone from Dave's phone. What? Kind of cool, yeah. Gosh, that's witchcraft. Yeah. Again, Samsung had it three years ago, but but still. <laughs> At least we finally have it. That's all. That's all. I also got so, the GoPro 12. Spending so money Ke so Kevin there. understands a cellular phone is like the one that's on your wall, but it doesn't yeah. have the cord attached, Kevin. Yeah, or the little rotor. You could actually thing. walk around they with got rid it of those. and make phone calls. Yeah. If I would have known back then, you know, because you get a sealed iPhone, they go for insane money. Oh, the yeah. original iPhone. Seriously. Crazy money. I had I like a known, yeah. You know, I had a moment then, like that. I remember those. I remember the first. I went to a private school for a, a short amount of time when I was in junior high, and they were just everybody was rich but me. And mm -hmm. I remember a girl's mom driving up with a phone, or bri driving up with a car, driving up with a phone, and she had a car phone. I mean, it was like this big, but I remember that. And I'm like, oh, it was the crazy, and everybody went out to look at it and how cool it was. I should have snagged it because you were like, hey, dudes. Like, That'll be worth way phones. less in the future, but still a lot of like money. No one's going to like car phones. That's lame. <laughs> we got to catch yeah. some waves, bro. Let's go catch some waves, man. <laughs> There's an eight-foot swell out there. Yeah. I play baseball. I'm four foot two. <laughs> no, so Jeez. I went. I had a moment like that because I go to Me a garage Me and my buddy sale. Corky are going to go play some baseball. Mm -hmm. Corky Romano. I go to a garage sale, and they had three <laughs> like mint condition iPads there with the box and everything. But then I looked them up, and they weren't worth anything because they were open. Apparently, they're only worth mm -hmm. something if they're Sweet. like first-gen like sealed. Yeah, no. Some yeah. people have found a way to reseal VHSs <laughs> and stuff like that to actually <laughs> sell and make money. Yeah. Dave, you have a stalker on here. Check this out. Sunshine Diana says, Dave, I saw you and your family out on the boat with Nurse Flipper. Really? Sunshine you were Indiana. in our stomping ground. She said she followed Indiana. you. Oh, did, what did I say? Oh, it is Sunshine. No, it's Sunshine <laughs> Diana. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think she was just saying she saw we were in her stomping ground, not she saw she us. She says you were at our fishing stomping grounds. Just saying. Maybe mm -hmm. she's been Maybe. following you. She's like a little Carrie, GPS you see that gator video I sent you today on TikTok where I'm the guy was Diana. like fishing and a gator attacks him? No. I, I you, you need to text me those. I don't check TikTok messages okay, because I have too many of them. <sighs> too many haters. I, too many haters. Too I many check lovers. so many messages. I check so many. It's I don't know funny. how you get anything done with the amount of messages it's, and comments he doesn't. you look at. He has other people doing and it. And I feel I'm, o I'm OCD. Part, yeah. I'm not ADD, but I'm very OCD. And so yes, for me to... <laughs> OCACD? <laughs> for me to have stuff on my... Especially ED and VD. Yes. I think it's yeah, e e D and VD. <laughs> oh, yeah. all... I'm gonna get all the guests back. Here in a I'm gonna give you an hour of our guests. He's got the full of package of D. <laughs> oh this show gets worse every week. You guys are gonna have to find Kevin. Do you have a big yet. sale, like a big bonanza sale? You can brag about? What's yeah, your, uh, I'll tell you what. Week? A saddle you know, or something? I can. I can look here. I got my sales up, but I'm I'm pleasantly surprised because well, you may not know, but I shut my store. Well, I didn't shut it down. I delisted everything, and yeah, we're about thirty five. 35 to 40 percent back of the store backup we're not cool. listing new items i thought we were going to but this is a monumental task i think we got 570 listings back up a Dang. third of them have big changes to them and a third of them have minor changes and a third are basically the same with the changing shipping policy and a lot of old stuff is sold a lot 
But nice. not huge high dollar stuff. But I mean, 35, 25, 45, 10. Okay. There 78. Uh, 78. 19. That sounds like a winner. What's that? No, no. I take that back. That was the Anaman. That was the Anaman. No, it's a fake sale. sale. It's the the Anaman. You can't count the Anaman. You Thank tricked you, so many people into valuing. <laughs> A suppository plus. This is Think the of scientifically your life. proven to be effective 99.8% of the time. But it yeah. has to be used. You never say Suppositories? that. Suppositories? And I, I've tried to use it, and <laughs> it's flimsy, and it doesn't even work. Yeah, if they got the saline in them, they work a lot better, Kev. You know yeah. what I found, Dave? Did <laughs> Kev you... just fills his with his own spit. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. So when you relisted your store, you took most everything down, you relisted it. How yeah. many things did you change the price on? Most of the stuff... Um, I didn't just relist. Most of the stuff I started from scratch. I looked scratch, up the comps right. and mm -hmm. I didn't really like there was a few items that I had just listed that I threw back up, like maybe one tote mm -hmm. worth. But the mm -hmm. majority of the stuff was starting from scratch. That's why I still only have 460 listings. Mm -hmm. Like, And I'm also like, I don't know. I'm just not in a rush because I'm still selling more than I was when I had 2,500 yeah. listings. So yeah. why do I need 2,000 listings? Fill up my garage with crap. My, like, my point. Whatever. Yeah, I got you. My point was that I a lot of the stuff wasn't selling because it wasn't at the market price. It was, I usually mm -hmm. price, you know, yeah. medium and a little above. And I never price it at the top because it's just too dang hard to sell. And this time when I went to go look, a lot of them were at the top of the market or close to yeah, it. So I had to drop some down. Some of them, some of, well, I mean, the ones that aren't like that, they sell, right? So it's like, you yeah. can't, you're not like dropping everything, but a lot of things I had to drop 10% just, just immediately older yeah. stuff that didn't sell just to get it in a competitive range and it started to sell i'm happy with this so far it's going to take nice. me a little i was hoping by sunday which would be today because we recorded early to get this stuff back up um at about maybe 50 percent, 70 percent, and we're at about 40 percent. and you are still listing that. some low dollar stuff but only if it's multi-quantity so i well i'm listing multi-quantity low dollar stuff but i i am I've set my rules up for the future of listing, but since a listing is already there, if it's say it's at 15 or something, but that's not where it needs to be, I'm going to just drop it down and I'm going to go underneath that. So I'm not going to have a $15 one. Like I'm going to say for shoes, since I hate shoes so much, I won't list a pair of shoes unless it's 25 bucks mm. because I, I've got bins and bins. I just, so I'm going to raise that one up and I'm going to probably going to lower some of my other, <laughs> some of the items I like to sell down to like 10 or 12 okay really? and then multi-quantities i don't care i mean i have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of the et pins and they're at 550 so or six well, bucks i'm gonna keep them out there you know i i, I need an et pin type item because people don't mm -hmm. buy like viewers don't buy mm -hmm. from me anymore very rarely i mean there's a few great viewers out there they're all great but the greatest of yeah. the great still the buy from me all the, the time ones, yes. the best of the best right still buy like des hardy and and stuff like that biscuit but, butt yeah, no, he doesn't buy for me. But but the point is now because they want the shout I thought out. We were doing Kev, our <laughs> they want the Adrian. shout out. <laughs> they want the shout out, but they don't want to spend fifteen dollars for an item. So now they've just res resorted to just commenting every single episode. <laughs> shout out request number three hundred and seven. Shout out request number three hundred and eight. Nope. And you for gotta... you, they just go buy an ET pin and they get their exactly. shout out. So Exactly. I got to get an ET pin in my kids. Throw me a couple hundred of those and I'll put mm -hmm. them up in my store to get some shout hey, out. I'm fodder. also doing this with hats, with my hats is I'll drop them down because they're already listed. I might drop down to 12, but anything new has got to be 15. Anything okay. that's because, you know, if you list something for 15, Dude, that's still and working it doesn't good sell. For me. Oh, no, I totally agree. But think about this. If <clears throat> in order, let's say you list because you'll list something for 15 bucks, right? Plus yeah. shipping. Okay. Yep. Yeah. But if it gets to a point where you need to send an offer or you need to do something to get that yeah, thing done, you're not necessarily going to delist it. Yeah, that's my yeah. point. And then that's yeah. where I'm at with these. If I it's had listed, one like that today that sold for twelve seventy. Yeah, if it's yeah. listed at fifteen bucks now and it hasn't sold for six months, I'm yeah. not going to delist it. I'm going to drop it and see if I can get it sold. Yeah, we will thank our wealthy as a Kevin tier members of Patreon. Yes. Biscuit Butt, Logan Murky, yes. Race Hack Resell, New Jersey Picker, Brian yes. Big and Fun, AGC Matt, Vintage Sports Flip, Superhero Headquarters, Vintage Disgruntled Sports Octopus, Harry Tornado, Mass Crafts Pursuit, Happy Hound Trading, Jay Thrifty, Brian, CM Poor Beal, Remarkable CM Soul City Punk, Flips, the wrestler. No Nose Pickers, and the Flipper Skipper. And yes, yes I no did nose. say Matt's Profs Pursuits. It's as Matt's Carrie Profs likes Pursuits. Yes, well, that's what its name is. That's <laughs> what Carrie, I'm, I'm The not, one word Carrie doesn't know I'm is like, Profits. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I'm like Ron Burgundy. I read what I see at all I will times. say, someone reached out to me, and they wanted to, I pretty much every day get an email, 
well, I can create shorts for your channel and help you grow to a new audience. Do you get that email like every day? I got one on Insta the other day and then I'm so like, okay, like, let me know. And then they're like, like they were trying to act yeah. like they were trying to have me do all the work. I'm like, I'm not going to bother. Yeah. So this guy, and so he made a sample short and the sample short he made was <clears throat> me calling out Carrie for Dawn laying out his clothes. Right, and it's just like I like that. I, I was, I was like, that is actually a really good little. Gotta, clip. Everybody's got to like, find them a dawn because yeah. that's that's what love is, right? Yeah, so I love. did like that. I don't know. He said he'd make us a lot for trash to cash. I, you guys have to approve the expense. I'll tell you what it was. I think it was thirty-seven dollars for a hundred fifty shorts. We'll take it out of Kevin's portion. Are you cool with that? We can split the thirty-seven bucks three ways. <laughs> yeah, that's no, like what, fourteen dollars each. It's like 30 cents a short or sorry, three cents a short or something like that. I think we should do it. I mean, even if I we lose we the 37 bucks. I think we should. Not. Yeah. Why not? Let's get that lucrative shorts money rolling. Yeah. Mm, I like it. 37, $37 for like 150. I was like, all right. Thirty short. That's what I'm saying. It was crazy. Yeah. I had a short on YouTube. I showed it to Carrie. I can't even remember what I sent, but it was like 750,000 views for a yeah, short. Dude, yeah, dude. Yeah, sent it to me, too. I did that. Was, which is really surprising with how bad your shorts usually are. I mean, yeah, this was a good one. His, his, Actually, hard, his, like, his good shorts that he tries hard on are the ones I crap out of Opus Clip AI. <laughs> and you and guys were I always love his shorts because you spend the first seven to eight seconds confused on what's happening. Like, imagine yeah. if you weren't a reseller and you're just transported to a Commonwealth picker short. He's just yeah. rambling like, on about happening? a Tupperware list outside or something <laughs> and like somebody's like a karen yelling in the background and he's fighting over so it's really off -putting. you two were at this sale you were at yeah, the I know. sale I know. That didn't, that's not gonna help you get now. views mm -hmm. yeah oh you it was did a license babe. plates right um it was, she was I had, selling there was a, a bunch license, of license plate plates. yes she was yeah. there's a license plate frame that i bought but i bought like a bunch of construction buckets and but it's the sale you dropped your pants at and shook your wiener around. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was the <laughs> patented Commonwealth wiener sale that we keep <laughs> hearing about. And that was a really, oh that was a really artistic thumbnail. Guys, that never so I, I did appreciate the thumbnail. <laughs> you showed enough, but you didn't show too much. It also got 100,000 views plus on TikTok. Yeah. Good. Mm. You I know there's just that one yesterday. person who heard that and was like, I gotta find that. Yeah, no, there's gonna be the there's gonna be in, in a couple days, go uh, YouTube, you know, search and Commonwealth Top Tector or whatever, searching. and it will be yeah. it will be a trending yeah. search, yes. Yeah. Dawn was vocal in that video. You could hear her. She was she was the one making fun because I was I I hand it was a hundred dollars and I handed her a stack of a hundred one dollar bills. Yeah. And yeah. she wanted to count them. <laughs> Yeah. I know. And Dawn man. says something about strippers and he the Yeah, you usually save that for like, the oh late night. Gosh. And then you were you were yeah. using it early that day. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. thank you, Dawn. I'm not giving you any money though. So yeah, Josh wants to know what's the lowest eBay feedback you'd buy from without questioning it? What is Philly That's Flippers? A great question. That's about the limit for me. <laughs> like yeah. eBay, how many, Philly how many negatives has he gotten this week? Let's let's check Paul out. No, Paul's is mine has bad. dropped. Mine has dropped to nine. Paul's is ninety seven nine. I would still probably buy from. Isn't that like an FM station oh, yeah. that plays new wave? Yeah, ninety nine eight. I mine dropped. I got a negative feedback the other day, and I'm not going to tell the story because I want to put it next Saturday. Always video. about the content. No, well, ninety nine point mean, six, folks. That's how you do it. But it was the most predictable negative feedback you could ever like when i was shipping the item i knew i was going to get negative feedback i knew i was nothing well, wrong you with were shipping the perfect. complete no. wrong item it was a perfect <laughs> item and, perfect and you see if i'll ship them the right item <laughs> i'm kevin i do what i want uh, well kevin, my wife's you're making not gonna me tell us the story <laughs> my wife's making me ship you one know, item i'm gonna ship the wrong one you if said I you can't you tell us the story because then you can't make a like video he was falling asleep so why would i waste it on carrie Mm, no, I want to hear. All I, right, I, I'll give you a little. All week, I wanted to hear Commonwealth it was stories. When I was in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and spice and it up the a little. The store though. was on vacation mode or time away mode, and the lady starting see? slow. There you go. No, but it's just like, <laughs> and she's like, "How come this hasn't shipped yet?" And I'm like, "It's on time away mode. It says I don't have to ship until Monday." Did you accept an offer? Back to my house. Oh, it said Monday. It yes, said Monday. It oh, said yeah. it. Well, and she's, I'm like, it should have told you this. And she's like, "Don't call me a liar." You should be able to fight that. It should have seen it. I'm like, listen, I'm sorry. This is what it is. I can ship it to you on monday or you can can cancel the order which would you like me to do and she wouldn't answer the question and so yeah. i just kept and she would respond with something ridiculous and i'd say it again say i can cancel the order i can ship it on monday and that's basically so you all lied to a lady on ebay and then you antagonized her through the i didn't comments lie to her at all i didn't I lie think, to her at all I, okay either so... ebay didn't show it that it was going to be shipped out late because this is time away which i'm sure they did but maybe they didn't i don't know or she didn't see it one or the other did you fight it 
Then I get haven't, a feedback. I haven't yet. I, I bet you can away. get it removed. I bet you can get I it I probably removed. can, yeah. but it, it and when I shipped it out, he knows he knows the second in command at eBay. He can get anything removed or anybody kicked off oh, eBay for that matter. Up. If he felt like it, yeah. he could get you kicked now off. Now that he signed so that NDA. So yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> now that's that part of the NDA, NDA. guy. Don't yeah. start this crap. Don't start this crap. I'm so sick of it. I mean, my I literally for the, I never delete stuff, but I deleted like I always delete stuff. Thirty. Fun. I'm like I'm like I that's how I get my daily high. I go in delete stuff exactly. and ban people I'm like, <laughs> okay so I, I wait a minute answer the question we never answered thing. the original question 93 percent, 93 percent, josh Ooh, anything lower no than way. that and i probably wouldn't buy i would I, if i had other options yeah. just, i wouldn't go to 93 percent. what's you know the lowest you go we never we haven't answered the question what would you do if i had other options at probably at 90 mm. I mean, if it's the same price, I'm just going to go with, you know, a higher one, maybe 97 and a half. Okay. Or okay. if it's somebody who's a new, oh. you know, you might give them a little leeway. It, but if you don't have any Yeah, other if options, it's less I'd... quantity, it's going to be easier for them to be a lower score. If they've only yeah, sold yeah. 20 items, yeah. I'll just get it. That alone is a red flag. Point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. hard to get 97. Dude, that's three out of 100 that, that leave negative feedback. That's pretty high, dude. That's pretty high, in my the... opinion. Yeah. Now there's some things. You know, if it depends on what you're selling too, right? If you're only selling used electronics, it's you're gonna have a higher return rate. You're just gone. Yeah, yeah. Depends on what you're buying too. Okay, you now you can finish really your story from. since we've answered the question. Her negative feedback was not about the shipping time. Her negative feedback was this person kept trying me to get get me to cancel the order instead of canceling it themselves. I'm like, you, oh. and then and then she opened a return and sent it back. Wow, interesting. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, and this is why. Little I did does it, she right? know if you really wanted she, her to cancel the order, you could just cancel it and say she requested it and probably she, get away with it. Here's another kicker: when I said it on the video, when I shipped it out, everybody was like, "Oh, dude, don't send this out. This is gonna be negative yeah. feedback." Which I I knew it was anyways. I just kind of thought it'd be fun. And playing with his business me, like it's a game. She did what I hate, which is to a, a viewer to go onto eBay and send me a message. And so she went on. So she watches the show. So this is a viewer oh, who did this. Really? Oh, really? Wow. So then adds a layer of complexity. Like, what's the it. percentage of our viewers on each of our channels and Trash to Cash that just hate watch us? It's got to be, especially on oh. Dave's channel, it's got to oh, be like 40%. Yeah, 50, 50 at least. 50%. 50%. They're just like, he's. did he fail yet? Did he fail? Is he out of money? <laughs> oh. oh. I wonder if he's out of money yet. <laughs> he, did, he bought that. what? He bought what? Yeah, the iPhone is twelve hundred bucks. What? He's screwed. He doesn't yes. have twelve hundred dollars. That's funny. Hate watches. Let me tell you, that's true. There's a lot it's of powerful. Them. And so, did you tell us a good sale yet, Kev? That was originally what we were saying. I kind of. We I, I, I gave good you. Sale, but I, you said I sold nothing. a bunch of GI Joe stuff. I mean, there's my sales numbers as far as high volume stuff is down. I mean, 30, okay. 40, you know, twenty, lots okay. of low dollar ones. Mm. Um, what but about you carry. That, wait, hold on. Do you really? Me. Do you really want to hear about sports card sales, Dave? The high, the fifty plus. Any fifty plus sales this week? Oh come on! I don't play in that kind of world. <laughs> <laughs> come on, on, man. What about on whatnot? On whatnot? On what? On whatnot? Gosh, fifty plus? Anything fifty plus? Is that even Nothing. a number? Does it go up that high? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So just watch Nicole State's auctions. You'll see. No. You'll see how high they can go. All yes. right, so no, nothing. No one's. So well, I mean, I have like some thirty, forty dollars. Just checking. Sales. I'm yeah. the best reseller. That's confirmed. Look, I'm about to post those video games I got yesterday at a buck a piece. Dude, some of them over hundred. Dude, can you please say Parappa the Rapper correctly instead of Papa Rapper? Papa Rapper. rapper the, no, <laughs> I thought it was Papa Rapper. I, I thought it's it was Parappa the Rapper. I thought and it was, was like a father the greatest game ever. Kick punch it's all in the mind if you want to dude i I'm there's sure so many good games in that that's gonna be like uh the more and more dude. i think about it it's like probably more than it, 300 yeah. and i literally mm -hmm. paid a buck a piece yep. and i arrived guys you'd love this i arrived like around like 10 when i felt like <laughs> it i i have gotten so much less stressed about being the first one at sales yeah because just go seriously just watch yourself yard sale for a couple of years and see how much you personally leave behind and you'll never be worried mm. about being first again mm. because like just all in the mood that you're in on any given day will tell you what you're going to pick. And, like, I mean, there was there was one sale where I went and I wasn't first. And a viewer actually got all the Care Bears before me. And I was like, oh, man, if I was there five minutes earlier, I'd get them. But at the same time, I get Care Bears all the time. I can go to the thrift store and get Care Bears. Yeah, like, Care Bears are not. So much even vintage ones are not, like, a rare commodity. You no, know, that silverware I, I got at, like, 11 in the time. morning, Carrie. 
That's silver. I'm just right, saying, yeah. like, I think it's mm-hmm. honestly, I'm working on it. It's better to go early, but it doesn't it's mean you won't find just stuff. Go. Yeah, I'll go. You. Even if you're late, you're waking up at nine, just go. Just mm-hmm. go. Totally. Just I go. don't agree Chill. with you, by the way. I think I find much better stuff. Or, no, I've found some crazy good stuff at really, really late. But I think, I think look, you're going to find more stuff factors. and better stuff if you go early, but yeah. you can still find stuff late. If you go early, there's a better chance, but then you are you have a more chance to hit more sales during the day. So and I, odds go up, yeah. Totally. And I carry, matter of fact, I picked, when I saw you going through that bin on that video, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, I'm thinking to myself, this is way more than you think it is. And I, I remember a sale and I went to that sale. I was the first one there. And let me tell you, if I was one minute later, I bought a whole bin of PS1 games and yeah. they were, they were awesome PS1. Well, that's the like, thing, like crazy awesome. How on earth was that sitting there? Nobody must have went to that yard sale because if one Where reseller, was it, was it, it was table? just, it, it was it was in in the garage kind of it was a little bit there hidden you go. There you um go. so that was part of it but People yeah move too quick well sometimes it's not too quick you got other options it was but... not the best advertised was as it well, yeah but... was it a yard sale sign find or was it on facebook how'd you find the sale i think oh, it was you know i think it was i actually we've been doing a lot more like looking stuff oh, up but i think okay. it was a sign find we we had we saw some stuff going on but then we're like we're gonna Free, 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 free ball, it. Free, free, ball free, free ball, it. yes, free ball, it. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> free ball, yeah, gonna, yeah. yeah free. But that's crazy. Yeah, we call it freestyle. It, yeah. Did it look like? Did they have it labeled, or did it maybe look like CDs? It kind of looked like CDs, like from the like I had found the Wii, and it was like twenty bucks in the box, which was probably about as high as I should have paid for that. Um, and in then the I was pretty much done, and then I, I think Don saw it. Of course, Don saw like that there was video game stuff in there, and then I asked. Um, and then I didn't realize that there was just like one box. The funny thing was the box, there was two different people selling and one person was kind of overpriced and one person just wanted to get rid of their stuff. So all the PS one games were, I would have paid for a piece, which is what I paid for the PS two games. Um, but yeah, they were only a dollar piece. And then the other guy games you paying four bucks for, I honestly probably, they were mm, like, I mean, like a GameCube, People I got Enter the Matrix the for GameCube. So Silent Hill. Of PS2. Yeah, no, they're like, right, I but probably, I don't think they're what I got. I honestly <laughs> probably got 8 to $12 PS2 games at four apiece. I was kind of yeah. winging it. I wasn't looking stuff yeah. up. Um, so that was not the buy of, of that. It was the PS1 games, PS1 which ones. I know from experience is super hot. The PS1 Dude, stuff, GameCube Some stuff. of it is unbelievable. Like some Especially of the best sealed. games. Yeah. Well, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah, I I made I couldn't believe when I brought that tub home because I didn't even look through it because it was just a bulk price. I and I had people like in the comments keep mentioning games I didn't I didn't, didn't even Final realize Fantasy? Final Fantasy sevens in there. Oh, Legend that is of, my favorite. Legend of, of Dragoon. Final there's Fantasy seven. Gosh, there's was it like the black label of, Final Fantasy seven or the greatest? They're almost hits? all black label and they're oh, like complete that's like a and they're minty and they're easy. minty. Seven I don't think is that well maybe it is now but it didn't used to be the black label. Well, I think it is. Let me go look. Just hold on. I think he's going to look. <laughs> it's not I, that big I, a deal, Yeah, well, it's fifty bucks now. Fifty-five, mm. seventy-nine, sixty. That's eh, kind of all over the place. Here's one that yeah. says forty-four. So maybe it's not that. That's it's greatest 45. hits. It I hadn't sold hits. a GI Joe in forever. Okay. And I I did this. Well, process look at this. It's all complete. Them, really, they're selling like crazy. Greatest hits like twenty twenty five. It's like it's still super good, clean. I mean, yeah, it's greatest hits, but a lot of black label stuff, which is a. A good nuance that you should know if you're if you're dealing with PlayStation stuff or, or Dalton or, or or yeah if you're dealing with, I'm so tired of dealing with that guy. Gosh, okay. oh. he thinks his name is so clever too. By the way, yeah, dealing with Dalton, we get it, we get it, we get you it. You're to... clever and young, we and get it. Yeah, still you're don't young have any gray hair in your beard. Yeah, and you're better than us at everything. You know what's funny? It. I don't even think he has his beard grown out. You should grow it yeah. out now, bro, before it starts graying like me and Carrie's. Enjoy yeah. those those. You know, AI made me have like a years. huge white patch on my beard, which <laughs> was a little aggressive, but okay. Kevin, what were you going to say about the GI Joes? Yeah, I was just going to say that that probably well, I was trying to fill time while Carrie just bolted, but yeah. I was going to say that I, I literally hadn't sold a GI Joe in forever, and I still have a bunch from that buy. And so going through that process and just finding the right price for the item, and then putting the the, the new shipping rate on it, and changing the order of the title. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know which one did it, but they sold. Just, nice. You nice. know, I sold like four G.I. Joe in like an hour. What are you getting, after like 15 really to 20 a piece? Uh, it just depends on what they are, but anywhere yeah. between, yeah, 15 to 20. I think one of them sold for a little bit more. One sold for 34 plus ship. And uh, What year are they? 20. 
They're old. They're 80. Like, are they the ones with the rubber ones. thing that attaches the yeah, legs yeah, and the yeah. legs fall off and all mm -hmm. that? Okay. You got it. And There's some really good ones. Of course, in there. it matters. The weapons are also huge for yeah. those if you have oh, those yeah. or the armor or whatever it is. Okay. Pretty well, happy. I never told you my sale, Kevin. I sold a flaring tool, a roll air flaring tool. Just like, uh, Carrie, you'd never pick this up. It's just a blue metal box with a tool inside. Yeah. And I got it two, for you. two bucks, sold it for 212. I thought you told us this last week, or what was that? You no, had that was a different Stay tool. That was a different tool from the same sale. I, I killed it's it. It's hard at that because, sale. yeah, you just, he's always talking about a tool because he's such a tool. <laughs> <laughs> I also sold a uh, Sony Handycam for 80 bucks. So mm -hmm. I had some decent sales. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are Plus you sure? Brag much? Brag much? Gosh. What are you, what are you I sold a cell phone for 800 Dal Okay, Dalton, calm down. We get it. I sold what the cell phone Dalton? for 800 Oh, my what gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with your store when you leave? Are you doing uh, um, extended nothing. shipping? No. I, dude, I do three-day handling, so I'm good. I'm Gucci, bro. Gucci. Oh, yeah, dude. On Granny? Really? On Granny, yeah. yeah on yeah. Granny, Mike's dude. in the house. Oh, no, I, I have three-day handling, so if I fly out mm -hmm. Friday morning and get yeah. back on Sunday, I'm good. I, I hate having to come back to, like, I have to do a video that night or the next day, and I have to But I don't have out. to. I'll just not do a video. Or I'll do a video while I'm there of you getting inebriated and me laughing yeah. at you. I'm in That's well. the video I'm going to make. Oh, if man. Ever, yeah, hit the thumbs up if you want to see I had a the dollar for every time I've hung out with a totally blackout drunk Kevin. Oh, my gosh. I'd be rich. <laughs> and he, like, rubs rich. your back so Oh, yeah. Heavily. I do that. All the, and yeah. and your belly and goes woohoo. Yeah, he does. He <laughs> likes to rub your belly too. That is a weird thing about Kevin. So. Oh my gosh. Carrie Josh said he. Hey. Carrie said he used to be an auctioneer in the auctioneer business, and I was wondering if he was an actual auctioneer. If so, did he give yeah. the high speed style or the slow? Please give us a sample. This is from Hidden Finds over on Patreon. I was an actual sample auctioneer. Time. Yeah, I, let's I pretend around. you're selling Kevin's body. Go. No, but here I didn't do that very much. Occasionally I did it for fun, but no, you don't have to do an auction call. I mean, that's technically what you're historically supposed to do. But what I what I got to by the end of doing my live auction career, and I probably did 60, career. 70 live auctions. I did 60 or 70 live auctions as the auctioneer. At the end, I was just making fun of stuff. Yeah. I was doing trash to cash up there. I'm not joking. <laughs> they bring me a pot because the the last 20 or so auctions, I was a hired gun, as they say. I was running somebody. They were bringing in the stuff, and then I was just in there to auction it off. Um, and they would just get the most garbage lots at this auction house, unfortunately. And it'd be just like, it'd be like a box. Laser and it would discs. have like Yeah, laser discs, but they were broken in half and dirty and just like a smelly, <laughs> a smelly headless doll. We've got like, 37 broken and laser like, discs. like some vintage 1990 napkins, but it's they're like open and used. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. I'm pulling this up, and then I'll be like, you know, here's a box of garbage. I would just say that, and then sometimes I'd get people to uh, a laugh bid, which was right, pity bid thing. or laugh bid. Yeah, laugh. every laugh counts as a bid. Like they don't have to raise yeah. their hand. Like that's <laughs> like, a bid. That's a bid. Sold. Gotcha. And he's like, what? <laughs> no, but I did. Yeah, but I could do it like five and five and five and six. But I was never good at it because I didn't technically go to school for it. Because you don't have to in Utah. Is there a school? For they have an in auction. Utah, Utah auctioneering. Um, what do they call it? Like. Moose Lodge or whatever Moose the heck they call it. <laughs> Moose Knuckle Lodge. But um, Carrie, did I didn't use, join it. Did you use your AI picture from I the Lakers Gone. game or the Utah did Jazz I, game? I got it from the one where I was wearing in the purple hat. That was That's close Lakers, to right? Jazz. Yeah, but I yeah. just cropped out that part because you didn't uh, give me okay. a Jazz one. I got you two Jazz ones. I met Dawn. Did I tell you the first time I met Dawn was at yes, somebody at else's auction? auction. And she was, I was, she was dating someone else and you stole she her. Was, she was married at that time. They had got divorced later. But, but they got divorced Jeez. afterwards. That was afterwards. After that you was... and her smooched. No, no. Let's hear no, the no. whole. No, let's hear the story, <laughs> Carrie. No, that's let's not the story. It. But the story You're is You're a homewrecker. This. No, that's not what it, No, that's not what happened at all. But anyway. You're like, um, I'm, I'm Mormon. This, We're cool. I, I, no, We're this, cool. No, but just listen to this. This story is funny. I, I, I met them. It was two of them at the time. By handing them a flyer for my auction at my rival's auctions, auction house. And he okay. got mad at us during his auction because he caught us doing it really? we're handing out you, we're you handing and don were doing it oh my god that's not what i said that's i'm changing the said. subject robin's nest reseller <laughs> who we met out there at the <laughs> vegas event she says the Smooth. next west coast event should be at south lake tahoe which i really really like that idea i don't well, really think very i have bougie. to go to the west coast anymore now that i don't have that date. yeah well thank uh, you for coming and visiting I think your I'm friends good no well my friends well, you know I'm they got no kids know. they can come over here that is, true. <laughs> that is true. Dan in demand here. Oh, I lost it. Oh, oh, oh well, here it is right here. No, I lost it. 
Oh, well, Dan. Well, while oh, he's doing that, guy, Heel sign turn. up for Vendu oh, using my link. Oh, yeah, sorry, or yeah, list, list perfectly. perfectly. If you'd like to list, but perfectly, American Arbitrage 30. If you'd 30. like to increase my number of referrals and maybe one day get me past Kevin, use my link. What's a Vendu? <laughs> what is it? I don't even know what it is. A Ven does things but Dude, I, I'm so like screwed, a by the way. Machine. I'm so screwed. They asked me to speak at some event, and I said yes. Ooh. Oh, oh ooh, camp, nightmare. camp ooh, Vendu party? Nightmare. Yeah, dude. And it's like... <laughs> They're I thought it was gonna event? be like I thought it was gonna be like interview style, but like they just want me to talk for no, an hour. No, you and a half. are the headliner. And I'm, like, uh, I'm not gonna all right. prepare at all for this. We'll just so see what happens. Right that would be. I'm hilarious. just gonna do a one hour diatribe on how to be more like Tommy. That's the goal, <laughs> right? If you want to be good, copy look. this guy. <laughs> he makes lots of money. Find a guy who sells shoes out of the back of his van. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> I found down in demands. We asked about heel turns, and we okay. got we learned that David knows nothing about history. Shawn Michaels kicking Marty Jannetty through the barbershop window is one of the biggest heel turns. Mm, and then Hibbs yeah. Respect says yeah, Mandela the rockers, effect. You can't mess with the Rockers. They ruined it. Yep. He says Mandela effect. He did not kick him through the window. He threw him through the window. Oh, Any Mandela Kevin, I've been meaning to talk. Reselling? Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about this because I talked about it on my channel. Yeah, There's some people Mandela think you effect. used to... You Hold used on. to do good content, Kevin. There's this, That's like yeah, a that is a weird effect. Mandela effect. No, there's this Mandela effect that the Fruit of the Loom logo used to have a cornucopia behind it. It did. Okay, yeah. and everyone says it didn't. Even Fruit of Loom, the company, says it didn't. But yeah. someone sent me a screenshot, they would, Kevin, though. from one of your videos of you finding a Fruit of the Loom shirt with a cornucopia behind it. And... Yeah. That I is don't know if that's a Mandela effect. Is that a, man <laughs> it's it a wasn't Mandela, really Mandela you? effect? You've no, never I've found, found one. one. But I've never found one. The I don't think I have. He said, like, you didn't point it out, but he screen grabbed it from one of your videos when you were looking through people's stuff. I don't what know is, if it's true or not. What is a cornucopia exactly, for real? Like, in real life, where would you find a cornucopia? Google it. It's like, like a, a wisp, field? Wicker, it's like a wicker basket. It's yes, like wicker but, basket. like, isn't it like a some sort of fruit thing? Like it was it also in the Hunger it? Games, right? It was in the Hunger Games. That's All not real, was though. In the no, Hunger Games think. is real. Is it? Was you're, it real? You're actually the next contestant from District 12. Oh, yeah. I'm in a district. <laughs> yeah, you're in District 12, bro. Yeah, I the, made it. The poor district. <laughs> yeah, I know we are. I will be first out. <laughs> Kevin is immediately district, murdered. Kevin is definitely <laughs> District One. I'm Kevin's immediately got, like, all the going sponsors. to be murdered. Kevin's got all the sponsors. He's got all the weapons, all the money. I'm he just like to, starts off I'm with gonna, like thirty bows. I'm going to be rushing for the weapons <laughs> and just fall in the water and drown. <laughs> 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 No sponsors for Carrie, except for no Timu, which Timu. actually ties into the next. Timu's just like, you don't get weapons. You just, we're not even paying you. <laughs> you get this ukulele for a dollar free shipping. Oh my gosh. I'm not even listening. I'm glad I'm No, not. okay. Dude. That ties into a question. So someone said, what is the craziest, most off-the-wall sponsorship request that you've ever received? And I was going to talk about Timu because I get about 50 requests from them <laughs> a day, day now it's at ridiculous. this point. Yes. And so now my instant response to Timu is, yeah, sure. I'll do a 60-second ad. Give me 10 grand prepay me. <laughs> <laughs> just like something <laughs> outlandishly <laughs> high. You got I did high. get... They don't ever respond. They just send me the same offer again. Every, hey, I did get a, I get, I got an ad uh, request for like the uh, ab sizer, the thing that goes around your abs and works out for you. <laughs> I was like, I don't think, do yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's a compliment or if it's a diss. <laughs> like you but have to use it for the next two years. <laughs> exactly. You might gym. want me to like actually get in shape before I advertise this. Have you oh. watched my? You gotta love it when they don't even watch your videos. They, they have no know, clue what yeah, you're doing. They and they're like, you have a lot of. A lot of people on TikTok, you must uh, be good at this. And yeah, you know. But have you got anything crazier than Timu or the ab thing, Kevin? Mm, probably some. I don't some, know. I delete Probably it. some enema, so enema related stuff. Yeah, have that. you never gotten any incontinence ad deals? Or no. I actually diapers? reached out to them years ago and like tried and got nothing. Got nothing. Really? Back. I'm like, oh, Dude, whatever. Could you imagine if you were dipping into that lucrative enema market? Like the, the ad <laughs> revenue that could be coming in? I've dipped into the enema market already. <laughs> Oh, that yeah. reminds me of something funny. I just read about Fruit of the Loom, and it was talking about what a cornucopia is, and it sounded like something you guys would make fun of. But maybe I can't find it now. Uh, oh, well. Flippin' Lost Treasure had a question for Carrie that kind of is like an underhanded diss, which I enjoy. Yeah. It says, okay. Carrie, have you noticed a significant drop in your resale YouTube channel since you stopped making videos? I'll say personally, <laughs> I miss your Ben Hall videos. I feel like we don't see you except on the podcast and whatnot. 
Will you ever be making content again? First, first mm. off, thanks for not watching my card channel, <laughs> which I'm treasure. aggressively working on. Yeah, but if people um, hate cards, they're not going to watch the card channel. That's true. No, well, I did a lot of videos during the trip, but I've definitely um, been on a bit of a Kevin vacation lately. Where I, mm. But I did a video yesterday, so go check I it out, I think Dustin's stealing all your views. I think Dust, the, the yeah. pro flipper he's, is well, He's the real pro. I'm kind of going for the other market. I'm going for like, oh man, if he can do it, I can. I guess that's kind that's, of the person I'm looking motto. for. That's my yeah. It's just like, life. I mean, if he's yeah. doing it, you know, yeah. I guess they've made a profit this year. Oh my <laughs> god! I, I guess I'll, <laughs> anyone you know, can do this. I'm going for you the people. I'm going game. for the people at In and Out yeah. who want to quit and don't want to get fired. They're like, oh, I can quit In and Out and probably make it. That's my market. Mm. That's fair. Mm. That's fair. See, we, Dave, you you could do a video as how much money did I lose in 2023, and people yeah. wouldn't think it's clickbait. And then you could get them, and it really would be clickbait. Dude, honestly, honestly, Jenna saved me. Jenna is my bookkeeper. Uh, Ever Leslie Bookkeeping. I probably have an affiliate link. Tell them Dave sent you if you reach out to them on Instagram. <laughs> but she Wait did save. She saved my butt there by making me change my whole accounting technique right as soon as I quit my job to this profit yes, first. Because it really, with the way I work, like if I have a system set up, I can follow it. And I had no system, and I just was like, yeah, I quit my job. <laughs> and with this system she put in place for me, like literally the money has a place it goes as soon as it comes in and I'm not allowed to touch it. And that means that my family can continue eating and that I actually, with my aggressive spending addiction, run out of money sometimes to spend. And I literally just say, oh, you're, I can't go do you're trading, anything. You're trading uh, sexy photos of me. You're trading sexy photos of me for Fugglers with Don. That's what I heard. <laughs> yes, that is true. Yeah, Don found a Fuggler and she and asked me to send a sexy picture. So I put your head on Gal Gadot. No. She liked it. <laughs> she she liked it. Yeah. Jenna have all the passcodes and stuff to your account, so you can't get into them. That would be a good. Extra no, step. we could do that, but I've been pretty controlled so far. Like I haven't had any issues. So yeah. as I mean, as... I have paid. seen him in a whatnot not spending money. It's pretty in insane. Yeah. Like it's he's weird. Just like hanging out. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, and that's why if you if I do come in and don't spend, it's not because I don't want to, guys. I promise it's I want to I'm spend broke. all the time. It's because I'm broke. <laughs> it's because I'm literally broke. But it's a broke in a good way. Like. The, the family can eat. Broke. Yeah, I'm forced yeah. broke. I'm broke in the expenditure category, mm -hmm. which is okay to be that way sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You're not broke in the all really the money well category. Me. Yes, yeah. all the money is fine. It's just that one little thing. So, yeah, I, I thank you, Jenna, for that. Mm -hmm. And Morgan. Morgan helps. They have too. adopted. Morgan and Morgan. Boy, by that's the way, my, so uh, that's my attorney of choice. Yes. Yes, they did adopt a baby. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yes, congratulations. To, uh, Wyatt yeah. and Jenna. Yeah. Wyatt and you should do a fundraiser for him, Dave. Since you're so thankful. Flippin' Lost fundraiser. Treasure also said, I sometimes wonder if questions like what Dave re said recently is serious or just to get people to engage in the comments. He said something about, is it a quantity or quality listing game when it comes to eBay? I thought it was a no-brainer and that quality was the key. What do you think, Kevin and Carrie? Quality or quantity? I think they both work, depending on yeah, what depends on the items. It depends on it the items. On, it depends I on what you pay for the item. And if you, so if you yeah. get a quantity and it, even if you have a terrible listing, but if it's a popular item and you paid low enough, you'll make money. So, well, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the way maybe I'm not understanding here. Quantity or qua like obviously quantity number of listings. N yeah. Number of listings. Yeah. Like, like, okay. So I was saying it in reference to like, Oh, I listed these and I listed them fast. You know, mm -hmm. is it a quality or quantity? Typically, game? They weren't the best. Typically listings. as your quantity on eBay goes up, as you expand, especially like I do I sports cards, you, your quality goes down. You can't have fifty thousand hundred dollar items selling out immediately. Yeah. You can't keep that. I up. would also say that. Well, we were talking about the quality of the listing. If you're yes. niched down, you can do quantity better than than if you're eclectic, like 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 Dave is and I am, especially. I mean, wouldn't you agree with that? Like, mm -hmm. if you're niched down, you're you're designing everything to operate around one type yeah. of item. You can do it a little easier. Than if yeah. you're trying to do quantity of fifty different niches, it's not exactly. easy because your photo station can't be like this, yeah. and your processing you got to have eight million boxes as opposed to if you're niched down to one item and you've only got to buy. Well, I have one a quantity. I have a one foot by one foot photo box for that that yeah. takes care of ninety five mm -hmm. percent of my listings because I do cards. So I I was saying it mostly in jest and to get people to engage in the comments when I said mm -hmm. it on my video, but uh, yeah. it is, you know, oh, something so you can talk about. Oh, so it's all about the content, Dave. It yeah, is really, I mean, Dave is, I got a new photo box, Carrie. I got a new photo box. I got two of them. Check this thing out. It's pretty cool. 
That's not it's got bad. like multiple surfaces. I've never owned a photo yeah, cool. in my I think life. it looks kind of nice. And it's uh, less important now than it ever has been. Well, and true. because people are using AI and stuff. And so I was listing and I was doing golf clubs, right? And with the golf clubs, like what Tim and Eric and all those guys have been telling me to do is make AI backgrounds of it mm -hmm. sitting in the grass, the golf club. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there and spending all this time doing this. Now I'm like, you know. I have grass outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got I'm some use right real, out there. Real human grass. And so well, I, I like walked the clubs out there, the and I laid in the grass, and I took yo, like 30 club pictures in like five minutes, and I come in and I bulk list, and I'm like, oh, that was way easier. Do <laughs> you see how Kevin perked up when you mentioned grass? He loves. Isn't that interesting? He loves, he loves how I used to do my lawn chairs. I've only bought, well, I take it back. I've, I had only bought one lawn chair this year, and it was a really nice one. Yeah. And I just have not bought many. And then I went to a church sale, and it was the only sale in town because it was pouring down rain on Saturday. And there's a rocking chair lawn chair in perfect condition, and I just could not leave it there. And I picked it mm -hmm. up. So, mm -hmm. I've been pretty good about not sourcing things that I typically source, especially if I have two of them already in the shed. I just, I've stopped. It happened to me this weekend several times where I like saw something. Like I saw this old Sunbeam blender, like, uh, that I know sells for like twenty five to thirty, but I'm like, I got two of those not listed. Mm -hmm. I'm not even yep. buying it. Like nope. I'm just not doing it. No matter I'm what. the same. No. I was on a dollar table and I still didn't buy it. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's big, it's I bulky. Have I've got two unlisted. Tens of thousands it. of unlisted cards, but I'm gonna still buy them. I'm gonna buy new <laughs> well, ones. Well they don't take a broom though. A blender is a true. bit of a different story. Like I I don't need giant items that I already have six of. It just doesn't make sense to buy them. Like, same thing happened with a, a receiver, a really nice Denon receiver. I went to a sale, and they wanted 25 bucks for it, and I was like, yeah. man, just that remote will sell for 40 because I looked yeah. up the remote. Just the remote would sell for 40 mm -hmm. but they wanted me to take the giant receiver, too, mm -hmm. and I just... Maybe yeah. if it works, it sells for 120, but it's mm -hmm. friggin' 30 pounds and huge, and I just... Would you uh, pass it up for $10? No, I offered 10 and she okay. said no. And you yeah, were happy I she said no. I was kind of happy. Yeah, I say that I don't really people. want it. Yeah. I'll tell them people like if something I'm debating about, I'll give them that offer and I'll be like, I look, I'm not going to be mad if you say no. I said, matter of like fact, I'll be Nikes happy if you I say bought. no. I, I didn't want these Nikes, but there were these nice like Nike LeBron size 19. And I'm like, where? Oh, those have got to be hard to get. Like that could be interesting <laughs> yeah, to buy. <laughs> and I was, and they, they were like really a cool design. You can actually see them in the back right there. You see that color, the green and pink back there in the corner. Mm -hmm. That looks like a so Gators banner. Well, anyways, that no, the other side, eh, right there. Over that's the a corner. that's a right there, tape right dispenser. See it? Anyways, I didn't want them, but they were five bucks. I, I was like, how much are the Nikes? Just out of curiosity. That's five a bucks. Dave's so whole like, oh, picking. Some freaking your whole picking philosophy in a nutshell. I don't want it, but it was five bucks. Yeah, put and it on a like, t-shirt. You know, I don't even know what they're worth, but I just was like, how can I leave behind <laughs> these? I just love them because they're huge. Like they're clown shoes to me. I mean, I've got little yeah. tiny feet, so I could wear like you have like yeah. yeah. I got a size a size nine. Soft so pudding, 19. honestly. Yeah. It's if like you could have any superpower to help you in reselling, what would it be, and how would you use it? Let's say it again. Reselling superpower. If you could have superpower. any superpower to help you in reselling, what would it be, and how would you use it? Oof. Superpowers. Time so, travel. Boom. Kind of done. Narrows it Time yeah. travel. There you go. I'd go. Uh, I'd go into the future. Figure no, out yeah. what's going to be into worth the, the most. Okay. Yeah, we go, uh, we're, we're backwards and tell myself to buy different stuff, but yeah. either either I'd, direction yeah. works. I think that's what I'd do. I'd be the I'd want to be like Ant Man because I'd want to like be in like Honey I Shrunk the Kids at a yard sale. Could you imagine like from an ant's perspective a yard sale? It'd be awesome. No, how I wouldn't be able to buy stuff. How are you going to carry? It's it not going to help. I'm using it for well, pleasure and fun. Times their size. They yeah, that's true. I could correct. I could. It'd be so much easier to steal stuff at yard sales, no, Kevin, go which I'm sure you'd be interested Carrie. in if you go weren't with invisibility. Go with invisibility. Oh. Then you yeah, can but they're going to just see stuff floating away. They're going to see their Tupperware just, like, floating away. How would away? they not see it if Ant-Man is carrying it away? Just no, don't worry. It's just floating away lower. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're looking at higher, though, dude. <laughs> Couldn't you just be invisible and, like, crawl? And I'm also, not I'm invisible and invisible Ant -Man. body. Let's say if you wrap your invisible body around the Tupperware, would it hide the Tupperware? Would the Tupperware still be visible? Oh, are we? Oh, that can we cloak? Can we stuff? spread the invisible? Oh, an invisibility like, cloak that you oh, could put yeah, like in Harry dude. Potter. Oh. So my last video on Sunday, I just, a terrible I, question. The I took wand. out. You just reminded me of something being invisible and whatever. I took a. There's a huge batch of jewelry, and I took a a, a ring out of it because I saw markings on. I thought it might be gold. And I took it out. And I was like, maybe I'll just buy this from her. And I carried it around all over the place. And then I bought the entire lot of jewelry. 
and people were mad at me for stealing the ring. Mm, you probably did steal the yeah. ring. It sounds like you were. It was in the whole I think lot it's of the, jewelry. I feel like it's the, the theft that put set people off. There, Kevin. Was it the fact that you put the ring in your pocket and ran, I or was it? Yeah. yeah. I filmed it. I'm like, yeah, I put this in my <laughs> Sorry, pocket. Here it is. Exactly. <laughs> Just to get people yeah, ticked man. off. Yeah, people. Yeah. I get, I even got some comments about well, that Tina's, on my video. Tina's like, wedding did you see that Kevin broken. stole a ring in his video? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah. see that. Tina's <laughs> wedding ring is broken. So if anyone's selling a diamond wedding ring Ooh. for the cheap, hit me up because uh, she <laughs> wants a new cheap. one. Cubic zirconian. Like, let's say you got it at a yard sale for 50 I give you 100 Everyone wins. Maybe it's win, worth 10 win grand. For everyone, everyone, but wins. <laughs> everyone, everyone wins. Everyone wins but Tina. <laughs> no, Tina <laughs> actually wins because then she can yeah. sell it. Yeah. So win, 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 win. So, I, yeah, I've, like, gone down this rabbit hole. I bought this piece. PSP this weekend for five bucks. Remember the PSP classic oh, console, yeah. right? Yeah, it's missing the joystick, right? And I was like, well, I can buy, I can buy, buy a joystick, but it's missing the battery. I'm like, oh, I could buy a battery. Oh, it's missing the battery door. I could buy the battery door. You basically, oh, have it's to missing build the a charger. <laughs> I'm like, now I'm to the point where I looked at it. I've spent like thirty dollars on this five dollar PSP, and it's worth like fifty. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like, do I just want to bring it back to life? Is that just a personal goal of mine at this yeah. point? Like, I'm not gonna at make this any point, profit. You're, you're already in it. You got to just finish it. I just want to see it alive at this point, you know. So now I've ordered the charger and the battery plate, and I'm like, don't include in. any of that. Don't include any of it. Just say That's tested. True. I say working. Tested works, and then... No battery. No joystick. No battery plate. And I'll return all that to Amazon. <laughs> exactly. You can buy it all at Amazon for thirty five. <laughs> exactly. You put me in the middle of the screen again, Dave. I like mm. that. Let me see it. Okay. Hey, so Lego Bug left a comment, and this reminds me of comments that maybe you've got. It says the comment for the last video says, "Good point, Kevin." That's the comment. Good uh, point, Kevin. Like, like, do you ever get comments? Yeah. Oh, Dave doesn't even read them. It's Where one it's of like Kevin. It's probably Commonwealth Auctions that commented that. <laughs> no, the Lego yeah, Kevin's Bug. other channel. If you ever get comments that reference one particular thing in a video and you have no idea what they're talking about, yes, like you're all watching the time. it with them. And Tina will send it to me. Like sometimes she'll see him and she'll like, send it to me and she'll be like, What are they talking about? Well, I don't know. Most of the time um, those comments. They were uh, people dad. were answering like, in trash to cash a couple weeks ago, like stories, right? They were telling stories about like the and I had no yeah. clue what the heck they were talking about. I forgot <laughs> we even talked about it in the podcast. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, so this is a good reference. question from Elise over on the Patreon. She said, how do you decide, wi decide which sales to attend? What is your strategy around finding and choosing locations to pick? I want to hear Dave's. Mine's pretty simple. Yeah, so mine is mine is interesting as well because for me, I really only pick the first sale of the day and then I go to everything else in the area, basically. Like, Just the first. See, I surprised The first yeah, is the only technique. one. Yeah, no, the first is the only one. I'll say, okay, this is the one I want to go to most. So this is going to be the starting point. And then I'll, po I'll load everything else into my big map. And then I'll tell it to route me, but start at that location. Give me the most efficient path to hit the most sales in the shortest amount of time. That's what I got to learn. But Yeah. And so that way, like... I'll start at that spot, and then I'll just hit everything as fast as I can, as long as they all start at the same time. That throws a monkey wrench into the yeah, works. That's if a big you guys, you guys think There's... a lot about this. <laughs> a lot, yeah. And, and honestly, I feel like, well, the reason I think that's interesting, because I was just thinking this weekend, like, there's a couple of sales I went to, and I'm like, wow, that sucked. And I remember thinking when I found <laughs> it on Facebook, oh, this is going to suck. And I think I need to get better at just saying, no, I'm just not even going to put it on my list. I'm just not. But then here's the problem. You don't put it on your yep. list. You then that's see the, the yard sale. sale sign. No, you see the yard sale sign. Yeah, you follow right. the sign. You end mm -hmm. up at the freaking sale mm -hmm. anyway. So it's that's like right. just put it on the list and just Listen, it. guys, right. you got to let the fates. You got to let the fates take you where they may. Mm. OK, I think that was Walt Whitman, right? Mm. OK, I, I, I free ball Disney. and I freestyle every weekend and I just go. Actually, me and Don have done a couple times. It's usually directly the weekend after we go uh, yard selling with you guys where we're like, yeah. oh, we should probably do a list. And then like yeah. for two weeks, we do it. And then we and then just get stop. back to then we get back Period. to just the love of the game, guys. It's about a feeling. We're jazz musicians, okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm the Thelonious. Like I'm the Thelonious selling. monk of yard selling. I'm just <laughs> freestyling all the way through and finding gems. Hmm. Oh, Jim Captain, my Mora. Captain. So oh, here's yeah. I have a strategy that I employ every once in a while. Depending on there's not a lot of sales around here. So and there's so many resellers. So you literally go to sale and you see the same five people. And then the next sale, it's the same five people. It's there's so many, so much of that. So, yeah. I usually take the the top sale that looks the best, and I cross it off my list entirely. And I'll go first to the second best sale, and it usually gives me a little buffer between the rest of the folks. Yeah, I've done that too. Like if something looks too good, yep. I'll intentionally put it fifth. 
Like, mm-hmm. I just, I know yeah. there's, there was one this weekend that was like that, where it was all this really killer stuff, and I was like, yeah. I'm just not going to those. get 40 minutes I never away trust fast those. enough, and it could be a reseller, because mm-hmm. he knows exactly what to say mm-hmm. to get me If I see good stuff, and... if I see good stuff, that's like a red flag. That's a huge yeah. red flag, because I know, because they're taking pictures like they know what they're doing. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. they're going to try to sell me this stuff. At e-. They're going to have eBay pictures, you know, printouts on every item. Yeah, but that's no, the that's, thing, right? That's not always the case because this really good one I went it to this weekend, but a lot I was of there at it 10. Is. It was like my 10th sale. I was there at 10, and his prices were great. He was just out of stuff. He had already sold it all. And I was like, there oh, was wow. two Friday sales this week where I was at. And there's never, I mean, I shouldn't say anymore. There's very few Friday sales, but there was rain coming on Saturday. So a couple people bumped him up. And they did ad, They did two ads for Friday sales, and I'm like, I'm going to go to this one. And I saw a sign for a Friday sale, so it was not advertised anywhere. I didn't see it. So instead of going to the one I was going to that was advertised, I went the other way and did pretty yeah. good. Okay. I, and I asked the question that everybody gets mad at in the video. I'm like, hey, you got any video game stuff? She walks sometimes, in and, and gets an Xbox One and brings it out, and so here you go. Five I had some stuff this it. weekend, too. Sometimes yeah. I just throw a curveball. Like, instead of even going... Uh, garage selling, I just sleep in and then I go eat breakfast at a mm-hmm. breakfast place. That's a curveball. Sounds like a fastball for you. That is yeah. a fastball. Yeah. Actually. Mm-hmm. I actually I had that same luck. I asked for video game items. That is true. That is true. <laughs> I asked for video game it's, items it's and me, the guy brought me, out a whole but box it's true. full. Yeah. But unfortunately, the best item was a Wii, which uh, yeah. yeah. And every Wii, I got three Wiis in the last week, and I really don't want to buy Wiis. Like my new thing is, I'll only pay five dollars for a Wii. And everyone keeps saying five dollars, so I keep having to buy them. And all three of them had Wii Sports in them. Nobody all goes three of them. Wii really? when no, they find a Wii. Wii, Wii, Wii. Sports, I, I miss those that. days when you're like, Wii, Wii, I found all a Wii. Three Wii Did Sports you in open them. that on a video? I no. have. Probably, I just opened it while I was listing it yesterday, and they I all three of them had Wii 10, Sports. Ten or twelve Wiis downstairs in my closet that I have never plugged in, never done anything. I, I got go nine copies of Wii Sports. Honestly, <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt dude, it. they're always Listen, got the Wii Sports. I in have there. only ever opened one Wii that had a Wii Sports in it. One. Really? One. Wii Sports is only worth like fifteen now. Anyway, I know, but it's not still, any good. But I did have one that had a Mario Kart in it one time. So. I got mine, you know what's mine. a weird bolo is Mario mine just have Super porn Sluggers. in them honestly oh, okay Mario what? Sorry, I thought that was a good Super Sluggers the baseball game oh, yeah. for Wii yeah. it's like a thirty dollar game that. didn't realize that it's like twenty five thirty bucks so bolo I probably didn't also, realize it either in the realm of uh, games that are worth more than I thought Spider Man two on PS three is another yes, twenty five to thirty dollar yes, game definitely Spider Man two yes that is a very good game somebody picked one of those up the other day and said and put it on a put it on a video. Yeah. Well, and that was the sale. So I go there. I wasn't even going to get out of my car. It was it was eleven fifteen. The day was over. The sale looked like I had nothing. The lady like she you could tell she was expensive on most of the stuff. But I get out. She got that game there. She's like a buck. I was like, all right. And then she has a bobblehead, a minor league bobblehead that was a stadium giveaway that I only would have bought because of Carrie. And I was like, ah, oh, well, how much is that? Carrie would buy it. And so she's like free. And I look it up and it's Carrie. Who's the guy's name? Arroyo. Edwin Arroyo. Edwin Arroyo from the Tortugas, and it's a $70 bobble. Yeah, he's a double-A player right now for the Reds, yeah. That's yeah. why it's got some value. Yeah. The, the minor league, league stuff can be really – the minor league stuff is, uh, is a real good play with bobbleheads. Serious reseller topic yeah, here. Really. Because there's, there's the major teams, you know – There's are, a very limited amount. Yeah, they only do like typically 500, maybe 1,000 if you're lucky. And only yeah, the people but, in the random town, you know, the small town, typically Redding, Pennsylvania or whatever, go to that game. Daytona, but, Florida. Yeah, Daytona. And like <laughs> the people, but like that's a Reds team. So like people in Cincinnati want that. So they'll pay uh, up. They will. But yeah, I don't, how does that work? Quick. It's a Reds team. What does that mean? Oh it's my a gosh. minor league team. They have a basically like they a, what they call a farm like, system. Okay. They draft players that are very young. Or and then so they young, train they them to play baseball their style through short the season ranks. A ball, A ball, double A, triple A. No, they have that in Counter Strike. They have like uh, training teams for like fanatic junior. They have rookie like that. teams. It's like Counter Strike, but like for like not nerds, like athletes. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, they're they're athletes, cool people. I mean. They're definitely not so, athletes. Esports players are not athletes, and I like esports. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that right off the jump. So yeah. hot take, hot take alert. Yeah, for all the people out there that don't have you know a plethora of yard sales like Dave does now and Carrie does now, oh, there yeah, is cool. an advantage to not having another sale to go to. And I talk about this every once in a while on my videos. I was there was one sale and that was the only one to go to, and so I spent a crazy amount of time in that sale. 
And every couple of minutes I found something else that normally if I had another sale to go to, I'd go to somewhere else. So don't fall, dude. No, I my eyes are drying you. out, actually. I yeah. wasn't okay. falling asleep. You wasn't falling asleep. My contacts wasn't, are hey, it, wasn't your, it wasn't your story. It was his contacts. By contract, I have to shout out my September 30th whatnot auction 130 is that on your whatnot out. contract that you have to shout it out on yeah, like our like podcast? my nda because i feel like then we should be getting a cut of that contract that's what's funny off. i got so much if it's our you're time, a sellout right? for talking to ebay you're a sellout for talking you are to eBay. you are yeah. you're the pain we're of our existence that. kevin yeah. Yeah. Ah. Please. Look you're a sellout the, for to be fair. You're a sellout for various reasons beyond just that. But yeah, you're not one of the taking people's. money and talking to. But I mean, you know, you work. Look at all the people that work with whatnot, and they're yeah. I don't know. Whose birthday is it really, it. Kevin? It was Turner's, but it's been like four or five days. Or six birthday days. You're just gonna leave that up all year. Yell at my wife. She like, what, I'm hey, you know, one. if I, I I got some Harley darts this weekend. Oh no, were they Harley or Budweiser? Maybe Budweiser darts. <laughs> And I could throw them at the balloons and pop them. And they Budweiser were good. They're is like the Harley bucks. of drinks. 25 so. bucks per little kit of uh, darts, and I paid a buck a piece, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Do you know what I got that was a weird one? It was acrylic, like, dolphin figures from Dakin. Have you ever seen those? Acrylic oh, yeah. figures from Dakin? Yeah. Carrie, ah, Carrie no, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sounds... like, you know, acrylic is like a hard plastic. I know what acrylic is, dude. I just don't, I'm not familiar like with fake crystal. Yeah. Yeah, but they're really cool looking, and I just grabbed them because they were neat, and one of them sells for like 50 I could, bucks. Yeah, I could tell you right away. No. Yeah, somebody sold one once to their grandma. Really? It was probably, <laughs> it probably a was probably a drug deal or something that they were hiding. Yeah, maybe I doubt that was a real sale. sale. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, does sell through rate ever get into your logic as far as sell through rate? As oh, far as know what that is, that. part of what I was looking at when I was deciding if I was going to drop these things or sell through rate matters less the more hoarder you have inside of you. Yes, it matters. The more it about, should matter more the more harder you. No, have because you don't want to sell the item. Exactly. You just put oh, it I on see, top it's of got good sell through. You, you just put it on top of the pizza box and the used diaper, yeah. and then you've got storage already built. <laughs> I was gonna list it, honey, but it's got a terrible sell through anyway, so I'll just list it later. <laughs> we want to keep this clown painting. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, what's up with the frog picture you sent us? What's up with that? Thing? Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, I'm super cool. excited about a frog. Oh, like, what are you doing so that cute. thing? Callie, it's hanging up in her room above her bed. Oh That's what the gosh. picture was. Was it? She loves it. Nightmare so. stuff. Right no, it's cute. Dawn would like it. Did you show Dawn that it, picture? I didn't. No. I had such but a Carrie good point it. to make. Because then she would make us buy it, and I don't want to buy that. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm so, have you decided? Uh -huh. I've I've kind of been excluded from some picking, so now I don't have anybody to pick with on on Saturday. So I'm, oh, we, don't Kevin wanna... is so much more of a planner than me and Carrie. Yeah. Like we haven't even thought. We, about the only this. thing I assumed is that we weren't invited to wherever you were. Picking. Whatever that you were doing. Only... Okay, so I'm pretty I sure I figured. have to go with Art because I sponsored. No, his that's trip. what I was saying. Death Pile's like, no, I'm going with Art and Rod. I'm like, what? Well, I I literally Dude, sponsored I Art's go trip. With... He's going to be wearing a T-shirt that says ADH Dave, and he's required that, to say my name 20 times in his video. <laughs> in his video. <laughs> so I don't even need to be with him, and I'm going to get all his cred yeah, there. Yeah. It was 130 bucks. I couldn't believe anyone, no one was buying it. I was like, that's that a great deal. Hilarious. That's a great that deal. So, so I'm going to be all over his video whether I'm with him or not. So. See, he has yeah. no shame whatsoever. I talk about this. You know, this yeah. life's not made for those who are cursed with self-awareness. He just doesn't care. I don't have that mm -hmm. gene to just not care. Yeah. He does not care, and it serves him so well. I so Kevin, I don't have a car, so I will go pick in with whoever takes me around. Yeah, yeah. I have no car either. So well, if anyone right. wants me and Carrie, well, just, then we uh, need to kick death. We need to get Death Pile Picker to drive us around. Maybe Eric. Eric's a good chauffeur. He goes. He a can go slow, with Art and Rod. I've and already been with Rod, and Art's going to be saying my name, so I really don't need to be with those guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rod we'll always puts me out. in headlocks and gives me no. I, with, I just released five videos with Rod this week, so I don't know. On I don't Friday know. night during the podcast, which we still know what we're doing, and we'll we'll like open it up to the. We're gonna put party. on a show. For no, ages. dude, let's do an auction. You know, like they auction off a date night. Yeah. Let's auction off picking with us, oh, and then yeah, we can dude. use that money to pay off that gambling debt I have. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the crippling yeah. gambling debt. Yes, let's get it off. <laughs> Let's get it off. Who wants a day of picking with ADH Dave starting Man. at one dollar? Two weeks from the end of this thing, I'm going. Carrie, to Vegas. you can be the auctioneer. Carrie, yeah, we're going to Vegas. Things? It's three weeks away, dude. Yeah, it is. I'm going to be there. I bought a ticket, man. Come on, picker.com. Scroll down. And you can get you a bought a ticket. They wouldn't even give you a ticket. I did buy a ticket this year. We didn't charge them for tickets to our thing, did we? 
I don't know. I don't think so. They're a lot yes, shrewder they than we are. Yeah, they, they're better business people than we are, Dave. <laughs> <Clearly. laughs> we are not good business people. Yes, we learned the hard way, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we took a massive loss. No, I'm just kidding. I think we did okay. We didn't take a Herald Tornado level loss. No, we no. did not take a... We didn't, We're trying. We, I'm desperately trying to get to the break even on the resale route. John is very... He wants to please every... You know, he doesn't want to be expensive, but yeah, there's you're a lot like, of cost in this. You're, yeah, you're, you're... Now, like, the Friday night thing was like 25 bucks, wasn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, did Nurse Picker, was, Nurse was Flipper no actually night. pick a winner, we Kevin? That. We're going to lose money. Did Nurse uh, Flipper she pick a winner? Did. She did. She picked a winner. Matter of fact, she From kept our picking, comments, were they actually she, there? She kept, yes, there were, but she kept picking winners, but they weren't in hers. That's And my, so they yeah, didn't get it. Concern. So she kept, and I gave her permission. I said, I don't care what Dave says. Dave doesn't get to make the decisions. Just pick one from your stream. And they did. Yeah. And they were very happy. Oh, by the way, hey, that reminded me, speaking of stream. Do you remember that incessant search I was on for the Taylor Swift CD when we yes. were at the 301? Yep. <laughs> so I still look me. for it all the time <laughs> so do I. because of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to find one someday. But uh, somebody did a, a Instagram about it. Like they, should, they, had, they came across this place that had just thousands of CDs. And they're like, I spent like two hours in this. <laughs> it's like I couldn't find it. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna find that dang CD someday, and probably by then it'll be worth nothing. I used to have it. it. I used to have it because me That's and Tina pathetic. liked her original. Yeah. Her original Dave's sound a, was good. Like it was a bit country. Of a it's probably somewhere in my attic or something. But yeah, we originally we liked her first album. And I'm not into her music anymore, but her first album was good. You know, he was Romeo, Romeo, and she. He was, was Romeo, and she. That, was, that actually might have been her second. She album. was Julio. Julio. <laughs> Julio. She was Julio. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Carrie, you haven't listened to video games yet. They're so easy to list. Dude, Ooh, I just got them yesterday, dude. I just got them yesterday. I listed everything. I, I had, had to make the video Except... and then make then make a couple wildly popular shorts on it. I've got a hundred k on Insta and Ooh. TikTok. We mm -hmm. we filmed with two videos with two cameras. Did you guys see that? So Don had a GoPro your... on. You no, haven't. You pay what? for your 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 buy with the money you've made. Oh, off the, the, well, we're going to pay for the buy several out now. Why why do know. we why do we give money to these platforms that don't because pay it, for content? The, you know, it's because it's well, some Instagram's point somebody's going to start paying again. They have ads I on think they will. Now. I think I they will. And then also, I told you, just wait till you see. There'll be pennies rolling into you, Dave. I can't I'm even telling you this the though. The one thing I've on. learned is just post everywhere. If you're making the content, might as well post it there because you never know when Instagram's going to gonna daddy warbucks it up and pay us so that's why i, I wonder if it. i've grown on snapchat yet i've been posting on there but i don't even have it installed I've yeah like that makes it hard that. to even know if you're not yeah, if you don't even I have a snapchat I, install it. I don't understand snapchat at all like every time i'm on there it's just confusing I'm, i that makes me feel old it makes me affairs. feel so yeah yeah it makes me feel it's primarily so old. for having affairs with hey people. we've dodged a bullet uncle steve picker wanted to come to reseller rally and i talked him out of it why yeah, who's going to carry <laughs> okay, you around so I have a everywhere? Question. So what do you do, Kevin, or carry? I feel like Kevin would more likely know. Okay. This we seems like assuming. nonsense, right? But I've got this thing, right? It's a little yeah. ceramic figure. This yes, like 88-year-old woman carolo. was telling that's me a about it how she made it and so on and so forth, right? I Google Lens it. It is yeah. listed on Etsy, on Poshmark, on eBay for 150 bucks. No. I cannot find a single sold. I don't think it's worth 150 bucks. Is this just like immediately shenanigans? No. Yeah. Is it just shenanigans? Like, how diamonds. do you even list it? Yeah. It's what's a, the brand? Nothing, what's the brand? Nothing, no, she Did made you do it. what you normally do? The she crooked made it. way you do stuff in the in the yeah. Patreon and yeah. put it in there and the said, somebody, somebody who pays for WorkPoint, please look this up for yeah. me. That's no, way to do no, things. I didn't. I didn't check. I on hate that. It's almost as that's almost as bad as saying you hate Worth Point with the owner of Worth Point at the table with you. That was not smart. <laughs> did someone do that? <laughs> Carrie did I it. did that. John did it, right? Did you? Yeah, we weird. both talked trash on Worth Point, and he was at our table. <laughs> he set us wow. up, man. They set us wow. up. I don't hate Worth <laughs> Point, but I just don't get it. Yeah. So, you anyways, don't I don't know. I, so, what if there's no comp at all? Do I just come in at forty bucks and see if someone will pay it because happens. it's so much cheaper than everyone else's? Yep. No, you do the, you do the even better method. You know how good it is. Twenty nine ninety nine, thirty nine ninety nine. No, you know like how good it is because you've seen the bucks. comps. Price it higher because you know <laughs> it's that good. It's yours. I don't know. Sign it. Forge <laughs> Kevin's name like I do on autographs. When I'm I think signing. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go somewhere in the. I don't think it's hey, worth. I can't see it being worth see, that. Is it Shauna? In our in the in the in the uh, Discord, Shana, we met her at the three hundred one. She's the one who posted the thing about Goodwill selling food. They're having food stores now. Yes, they sell nothing that. but food. 
You see is that, that real? So I, is that real? I told her I was going to steal that picture and I put it up on Instagram and Facebook and went crazy. Just the picture, you know, and I said on there, I'm like, now we can. You monetize that too, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> I did on, on Facebook. It's not monetized anywhere else. But it said, I told her, thank you. What do you want me to tell you? She, Maybe she give her a cut of the it. money? That's what so, I would do. Well, okay. I don't even know my so, name on Snapchat. Well, it was just a, I mean, she just took the story and post. I mean, it was a, a news story. What, anyway. Whatever way you have to finagle so you don't have to give her any money. Just do it. Well, whatever. All right. <laughs> anyway, I put on there, I said, now we can steal. Well, now we can steal uh, food from the hungry. Instead of, and some people just did not get the joke at yeah, all, yeah. and they were not happy with. It. I'm like, dude, this is a joke because we see it. Well, you don't need me to explain it, but man, they're not happy. It's, when you said it, it felt real. It did not feel <laughs> it like felt it was like a joke. you really wanted. To it felt like like you've been searching <laughs> for a way to do that. You're like, finally, <laughs> you oh my finally gosh, found I can it. Steal from the hungry, <laughs> Kevin. I think you're maybe a monster in disguise. Oh my gosh. I did charity work this week, Dave, and I'm going to do it again on Saturday. You hey. don't ever do nothing. Well, no, you it, definitely, know, doesn't, it yeah. definitely doesn't count unless you brag yeah. about it to 10,000 yeah, exactly. people. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I don't count my charity I unless I tell everybody I about announce it. it on the show. Okay, so what's the alter? How I, do, do you I, not did, I did charity week this week, guys. <laughs> charity work. All right. I'll what, get, okay, how do you I'll not do it? You just I don't do it. That is such a Kevin thing to do. This but is listen, how you do charity. You never tell anybody. No, no. Okay, this is a good question, actually. I, I actually think this is a good question because I totally agree with you, right? There's a lot of stuff you should do on a personal basis that, that should but you just, not be But you known, just don't do that, though. And you should not, you know, I get it, and I totally agree with that. But on a professional level, like with your You want to monetize the charity. You want to monetize your charitable nature. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, it's not okay, really worth doing if you don't get anything out of it, right, Kev? <laughs> well, okay, let's take let's take these companies or uh, y'all. I'm trying to have a serious conversation. We're just calling We're you seriously out, seriously judging because you. because I'm I'm saying I agree with you. I agree with the sentiment, uh -huh. but it's not going to do me but, any good. So I'm the just practical. Say, the, but if we're getting into practicalities, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Well, a charitable component to a business, it's like, I mean, how many of them do that, right? I mean, you go to, I mean, go to McDonald and they're like, you know, here's the Ronald McDonald house. Do we, do we criticize that for them saying, oh, look what we do. We have Ronald McDonald house. Kevin but look compares at how much himself to Mc, we the talk McDonald's about corporation. Jenna, Jenna and, and, and Wyatt are staying at Ronald McDonald house. And that's a public broadcasted charity thing that, that people do publicly as a business. I think that's a little bit different as your personal what you do personally. I think to me, it's different. more just like if Kevin's doing it, it's probably the wrong way to do it. Oh, that's just geez. the way I look at it. Exactly. <laughs> it's I'm done cringy. It's automatically it's cringy. It's automatically <laughs> cringy. See, that's the thing. And I believe this now because I've been working my butt off for this St. Jude thing. It's like you really don't have much of a butt. Yeah, uh, you not have much to what they would off. call like just like the end of just two flat it's ends just of like a legs. big piece of plywood. <laughs> you two are absolutely <laughs> hopeless. Both of you are absolutely. You have no. I mean, okay, listen. I have Kevin. He's listen, more you know, offended about the butt thing than he is about the charity <laughs> thing. He's like, I have a great butt. Thank you. No, uh, no, I have a fantastic butt. <laughs> Somebody I'm more do a the stupid thumbnail. Do a meme of him giving charitably with that. a flat butt. What do you want me to ask ChatGPT about Goodwill? You said Goodwill. you wanted me to ask it something about Goodwill. Right. Um, is Goodwill? Yeah, we got to end monster? it with some ChatGPT stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll just start there. Is Goodwill a monster? No, Goodwill is not a monster. Goodwill typically, oh, it's actually Goodwill no, typically but... refers to a nonprofit organization that provides job training, employment placement services, and other community-based programs. Ask okay. it to tell you the real truth about it, though. Like keep <laughs> getting it to go deeper. Tell me the real truth. Tell yeah. me oh, the de tell me the inside secrets. The secrets of, how, of the goodwill, yeah. How deceptive goodwill. I'm gonna ask if we're living on a flat Earth. No, the Earth yeah. is oh, not flat. Oh, the, no. This, this, because that went now, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you have anything? Okay, okay. I wonder if it's heard of Commonwealth Picker. Have you no. heard? You had like three common... thoughts in your head at well, once. This is old. And What's the date out? from this? This is uh, way dude, back when. I'm gonna ask it. It says, "Have you heard of the Commonwealth Picker?" It's thinking as of my last update. In January 2022, Commonwealth Picker likely mm. refers to a YouTube channel, an mm. online personality who shares content about reselling items, particularly items purchased at thrift stores, garage smalls, garage sales, and similar venues. The channel might provide tips and insights on finding might. valuable items might. to resell, as well as other aspects of reselling. 
What do you want to ask about yourself, Kevin? I don't want to ask anything. Is this guy Kevin Terry. a monster? The truth. No, the truth. <laughs> ask him the truth about Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> yeah, tell me the truth. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. No, it's going to do that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We don't want to know. We, we just don't even want to yeah. know. I, mm. I don't know. I didn't think of any questions for them, but I will say mm. that I have 3,600 views a month on Pinterest and six followers. So, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're not motivated. They're they will watch, time. but they will not follow. Mm -hmm. You could ask them about um, plush enemas. What do they yeah, know okay. about plush enemas? What do you know? Why? I mean, about plush enemas. I'll ask it. It seems like there might be a typo in your questions. <laughs> If you're nothing, asking about plush enemas, about I am them. unaware of any such product or concept as of January. <laughs> how about enema man, or enema? Just type in enema. Uh, ask them how. What is an enema? Ask them how to do an enema. I'm just curious. in this stupid podcast. I got it's stuff a, to do. Whoa, Kevin. Oh, man. Wow. Why yeah. is Kevin so aggressive? <laughs> Why are men in their 60s so oh, angry all the time? Question. I read an article one time that said the lowest paying job for an Anglo, for a white male in the United States was Kevin. It was the lowest paying name to go with the corresponding job salary.